Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Hi. Hi, 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 hi. the follow how you doing hello hello hope everybody is having a good thursday it is going to get cold as fuck so if you are in an area that is going to be freezing please run your taps make sure they don't explode or something and if you lose power at any point if you have a tent use it on your bed and, like, use it to retain heat. Um, try not to open it too much. But have, like, a ventilation at the top. So, you know, you can have air. But, like, stay warm! Stay cozy! Enjoy that KHB lurk. There's also a redemption for lurking, but I, don't, I think that has to do with points. So, I don't think you have any yet. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. But anyways, hi! Hello! We're gonna continue off from yesterday with our super lesbian animal RPG. Wear two pairs of socks! Bundle the fuck up! It is no joke! We're gonna drop 30 degrees here in five hours and I just really want snow, but I wish it wasn't getting into single digits for it, you know? I want snow, but mm, that's a hefty cost. I have mixed feelings about my current situation. Our Xmas plans get cancelled. Aw, I'm sorry. But is there something positive out of that outcome? I don't see how you would have mixed emotions from that. Unless there was. Hmm. Um, for those who don't have Christmas plans, though, have I got a deal for you. I... I'm going to be streaming a little bit on Christmas, so you guys aren't all alone. Um, it's just going to be me and Zero's in the house, so we're going to have a lovely dinner later on in the evening. But I figured, since there might be a few people who won't have any Christmas plans, um, I figured... Why not have a little surprise for you guys? So you guys don't feel all alone. I don't want anybody feeling alone over the holidays. It's a shitty feeling. I know how it feels. I've had several years that felt like that and it's no fun. So we're going to be doing something really fun come Christmas. I don't want to say it yet. I don't want to spoil it because I got to figure out how to do stuff. Um, but... I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna research it real good. I'm gonna make sure you guys have a good Christmas. And I'm gonna send you through food. Through food? Oh god, my brain died. I'm going to send you food through the camera. There you go. So spend the Xmas at your mom's. Original was spend it with mom, siblings, and siblings at sister's place. Sister got the Rona, which canceled that. Oof. Ouch. My condolences. Not a good time of the year. Lots of people getting sick. Make sure to cover your noses. Masks, regardless of how you feel, protect your nose. Which, if it, if your nose is what catches like lower temperatures, that's what makes you susceptible to like illnesses like the flu or a cold or anything like that. So protect your fucking nose. Get a scarf. Get a mask. Cover the fuck up. You whore. <laughs> no one needs to see your nostrils. Cover it up. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Be safe. Be warm. I love you. Mwah. But yeah. Um, 
I will have some things prepared for Christmas. I'm, I'm gonna try my hardest anyways. I'm having to give up on some presents that I wanted to make for Christmas. Uh, simply because I no longer have the energy to fucking make art. Like, I'm done for the rest of the year. I'm not drawing anymore until next year <laughs> where I have to. But like, no more art, please. I'm so burnt out. I'm so fucking done. But because of that, I will have some extra time to do some researching things and whatnot. You like my vibe and snowman? Thanks! Let it distract you from the fact that my Christmas tree is not correctly, uh, in place. Crit Christmas? This one? Th this? This one? There we go. Okay, cool. Fixed it! Nobody saw a thing. Good shit. <laughs> Alright. Shall we get started on Super Lesbian Animal Adventure? And before I do that, um, make sure that my fucking audio levels aren't gonna kill me like they did yesterday. Da -da -da. Cool. Alright. Cool, cool. Alright. To the computer screen! Whee! Hi. Oh. Oh god, what the hell happened to me? I got yeeted. <laughs> Ugh. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me escape! Oh, let me escape! Oog. Alright, I'm good. I can't even click on the screen when that happens. Um, did I do it like this? Did this not... I don't think this went through last time. I think I did do... Yeah, I did this. Okay. Cool. Alrighty. Continue. Oh god, it's so quiet now. Oh, I think I have to go through the settings. Yeah, I put it really low so we wouldn't get ass blasted like last time. Option... Oh, never mind. Why is it a hundred? I guess it reverts every time? Weird. Hang on. I need to... Ugh. Ignore how everything fucking goes wild. I don't know why it does. God damn it! For the love of Christ. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> It wouldn't come through on top for some reason. Gonna have you there. Sounds so far away when Sun says I'll do it next year until you check how much time is left. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I was like, not until next year, which is a few days away. <laughs> but at least in that few days time, I can have some semblance of like brain clarity where I'm not dying mentally. Come on, you. Work with me here. Another monitor. Alright, is that a good volume? I don't know. It ended. We're gonna go with that. Alright. Boop. Sorry for flashbanging, you guys. Well, this game is a little finicky. Alright. Much better. Alright, so last we left off, we were getting to know the characters a little bit. Oh, I have to move this up. Oh, man. Um, Goddess Fortuna gives people magic. They make a utopia, essentially. Kids want to go around and become adventurers regardless, though, because they want fame, glory, and whatever the fuck else they want. Um, and we are Melody, a cute little trans pink fox. Um, and our girlfriend, Jody, I think. Jody? Allison, excuse me. That's Jody up there. The uh, tiger. Our girlfriend, Allison, has wanted to be in a guild, so we're joining her. 
and we are a paladin, and she is a fighter, as far as I know? Mm -hmm. She hasn't actually specified her class, so fighter it is. Um, I believe Jody is going to be our tank, and we also have our uh, fourth party member in the um, basement over here, which we'll check out in a little bit. Um, which is our mage. But before we go do that, I wanted to go see what the fuck was in here. Because we have some characters we gotta talk to. Hey, Rhett. Help a gal out. Got any used swords laying around that you could part with? <laughs> in your dreams, kid. I never part with one of my prized swords. Oh, come on. You gotta have at least one you're never gonna use. Listen, I cherish my sh swords as if they were family. Every one of these has a story to tell. A thrilling tale of my daring exploits as a paladin. This one, for instance? I got this for beating a skeleton knight in a duel. I thought it was from a bone dragon we fought. Eh, maybe. I mean, who can keep track with all the amazing things I've done in life? You just gotta get on your own glorious adventures. You'll get a cool sword in or something in no time. Hey, Melody, Face. Oh, Faith told me that you're a resolute paladin now. Pretty cool. You know, I'm one of those too. What a coincidence. So, how does it feel to be the coolest type of paladin? Pretty great, right? It's, uh, yeah. It's pretty cool. You don't sound very pumped. Come on, where's your enthusiasm? Oh, that's the problem, I guess. Like, the power is based on your belief in your own abilities, right? I was feeling pretty, pretty confident when I made up my mind, but now I'm starting to doubt myself. And I, doubting myself could weaken my healing. It just seems like it'll become a vicious cycle. Holly, how do you have the confidence to maintain your powers all the time? Easy. I think about how big and tough I am. You can take on a lot of stuff when you're big and tough. Plus, nothing's more reassuring to my team than knowing their healer can suplex a car. I think attempting that would actually kill me. I'm not big and tough. I'm big and soft. And squishy. Very easily bruised. Okay, cars can be pretty heavy. Maybe start small. You ever try suplexing a clown car? Do you have any suggestions that are less physical? Well, that's just me. I've heard other resolute paladins say they're all about fate. Like, they just know everything's gonna work out the way that it's supposed to. And they'll always be able to rely on their powers if that's what fate has in store. I don't really buy in that personally, but hey, magic and self-esteem are pretty broad, you know? You just gotta figure out what works for you. Plus, I mean, you don't have to rely on the suplex. There's also power bombs, choke slams, flying elbow drops. Thanks, Holly. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Oh, and one more thing. It's not much, but I figured you'd put it to good use. Oh, we got a weapon! Now we don't have to punch everything. It's... It's a little bent. <laughs> yeah, Stegs and I don't really get along. I whack stuff a little too hard with them. So works so. though. It'll give your pa skip It'll give your spell casting a little more oomph compared to casting empty-handed. I mean, provided you actually equip it, you know. Well, thanks, Holly. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Knock him dead, kid. Or uh, knock him alive because you're a healer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it, I got it. I know how to do things. Uh. Oh, is it the weapon? It is the weapon. Got it. Can I put the other thing on Alice in them? I can. Let's go. Ooh. Hi, Shadows! Mwah. Thank you for your compliment. I hope you're having a good day. Hey, are these trophies from Paladin Games? That's so cool. Yep, that weightlifting trophy is among my proudest accomplishments. <laughs> oh, I meant to say earlier, um, Pokinus, the title is from Phoenix, or uh, sorry, uh, Phoenix Wright, the lawyer game. It was almost Christmas, meaning it wasn't Christmas yet. <laughs> I 
It's a very long title, but it, I, I liked it too much to not do it. And I didn't want to, like, separate it over the course of two streams, because, like, I felt like nobody would get the joke then, so. <laughs> hey, you think Melody could ever compete with you guys in these games? I mean, she's a paladin now. You never know! It's usually supposed to be paladin brigade members, but Faith could probably get you on the team if you really wanted. As much of an honor as that would be, I don't exactly have the best history with sports. Allison, you remember my brief stint as a soccer player in elementary school? You were the best bench warmer this town's ever seen, babe. <laughs> uh, as uh, supportive as always. Objection! Whenever Rhett's feeling sluggish with work, she'll always chuck a potion or something. Even when you weren't injured? I feel like that might be bad for you. Uh, they're called health potions, Melody. That means they're good for you. Yeah, I don't know about that. Whatever you say, though, Chief. Let's see what magazines you have to read over here. Sword Fancy, I assume that's rats. I know what I like. And it's swords. Some sports magazines, I'm gonna guess Hollies? Yep. And some old teen fashion magazines? These are all like five years old. Robin's bought those in, so we'd have a little bit more reading material for folks sitting in the waiting area. She says she read them for the political editorials. I would actually believe that. <laughs> I love how there's so many little bits and bobs that you can interact with. It's so cute. I love this game. Oh yeah, the dummy. You've done that. Guardian isn't in right now, Han. Please keep out of her office. Sorry. I don't think we chatted with this one. Actually, no, we did. Allison was like, hey! What's up? And he was like, do you actually have anything to say to me? And Allison was like, no. <laughs> Alright. Um, I think that's it. We've done the fortune telling. We've done... We've gone into the Leon Magics. It's a bit of a walk back, but I kind of want to go back and buy some gear for Allison. But at the same time, I feel like we're gonna get something from Claire. So, who knows? We'll figure it out. Alright. Save. Nice. Alright, Claire. Claire, what? Why are my basement's walls covered in trash? I can assure you, it's not trash. I like the lights. They're... festive? How long have you been in my basement? What are you even doing down here? Listen, I'm sure you have a lot of questions. And I can answer those questions if you have some free time and you think you're ready for something special. We're ready. What are we ready for, exactly? Wonderful. All you need to know is that your basement is now the entrance to... A dungeon! What? Oh dear. See, as your new guildmaster, it's my responsibility to give the two of you a proper education when it comes to adventuring. Our previous attempts have been... interesting. But it was obvious we needed to start smaller. I needed a controlled subterranean environment to really replicate that authentic dungeon experience in a more accessible manner. And in case you haven't noticed, this is the only house in the neighborhood with a basement. Lucky you! So now your house has this cool underground labyrinth that we get to explore together as a team. It'll be so much fun. Claire, just because you're my new boss or whatever doesn't mean you get to bust into my basement and do some radical remodeling. Okay, first of all, you hardly use this basement. Let's be real. This place is a rental! How am I supposed to explain this to my landlord? I'm sure they'll see the ads the value a lot of value to their property. Look at all this extra square footage. And where the hell did you put my stuff, huh? It's... Uh, it's around here somewhere. I may put it into Hammer City storage or something, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. How about- Wow, thanks Claire, you should have put a lot of effort into handing us our first adventure on a silver platter. Okay, this is 
a lot, but let's just all take a stop and take a deep breath, okay? No yelling. Melody, what about you? Isn't this perfect for you? You get to do your training right in the comfort of your own girlfriend's home. Well, underneath it. You've been practicing the spells I gave you, right? Don't you want a chance to show them off? Come on, this'll be fun. I guess this is worth a shot, right? <laughs> Said the exact same thing. Wow, it was a lot easier to sell you on this than I thought. I mean, if we're adventurers now, we've got to start somewhere. That's the spirit. I mean, uh, plus, I mean, either way, I am going to need someone to help me clear out all the evil magic- evil monsters I summoned here with dark magics. Wait, monsters? Real monsters? Well, real-ish. They're more like dark magic constructs, I guess? We'll still put up a fight, though. Hmm. I do like fighting. Okay, fine. I'm still not crazy about this basement dungeon idea, but I've been dying to see some action. Just make sure you put everything back to normal later. I don't need a rowdy basement monster who's trying to eat my face in the middle of the night or whatever. I'll put it on my to-do list. Anyway, I was waiting for Jody to show up before starting, but you know what? I think we can handle this on our own. It'll just be three pals on a fun-filled dungeon adventure. Are you really sure that's a good idea? Come on, what's the worst that could happen? Player two. <laughs> Music! <laughs> I love this fucking game, man. This is great. <laughs> Well, actually, could we postpone? We were kind of on a date or whatever. More or less. I mean, unless you're okay with being a third wheel. I don't really care. <laughs> As a third wheel. Nice. Okay, but fair warning. Warning, I can start macking on my girl anytime. No, really? You don't say. She's primarily driven by impulse, Claire. Sure. Some real hardcore tonsil hockey if you catch my drift. <laughs> okay, that might be an exaggeration. <laughs> Listen, you two are making it weird now, just so you know. Can we go now? Swap and spit. I get it, Allison. Planning a big smacker. Smooching. <laughs> this is your revenge for me trashing your basement, isn't it? Face sucking. Locking lips. Puckering up. Watching submarine races. Can we just go already? <laughs> I love this game. What's in here? Ooh, ethers. Not really. I don't even remember what's in these boxes. Let's see if something's cool in here. Allison, don't you know what's in your own basement? You gotta have some mysteries in your life, Mel. It keeps things interesting. Two potions. Tubular. Let's save real fast so I don't have to do that again. Oh, and if you guys feel like this is too rough, there's always plan B. Just open up the inventory and use the difficulty selector in your key items tab to enable easy mode. I really wish one of them said, what the fuck are you talking about, Claire? Dust bunnies! They're so cute! They have little socks on their heads. Skills. Let's see. Skills. What do you have? Scorch. Alright. <laughs> nice. Oh, that looks so scary. <laughs> Why did you think it was a good idea to light it on fire? Huh, kinda looks like it's demonic side is coming out. Well, you look learn something new every day. That looks fucking terrifying. Also, holy shit, that's so much damage. Two hundred four though, let's go. Actually, let's do Resolute Seal.
Nice. Good shit. Great job, team. Nice, I'm really on fire lately. Seek our way forward. Wow, way to think outside the box, Melody. Or rather, outside the dungeon. Oh, sorry. Are we not supposed to be back here? You're not, but trespassing is half the fun of adventuring, so I'll allow this. No takesy backsies. We go forward like men. And by men, I mean trans women. Hell yeah. Ooh, hello. Gimme. Flaming Dust Bunny and a Dust Bunny Sage? The hell is a Dust Bunny Sage? Kiss. Kiss. Mm -hmm. So many kissies. Get fucking set on fire. Ow. Oh god, this is gonna suck. Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. Woo! Oh. Okay, all right, I got it. Nice, we got one. Allison? Oh, yeah. okay. Get rid of you. Scorch that one. I don't think it can kill her in one go. Okay, good. We're good. Actually. Never misses. Card. Nice! Let's go! Generic brand pauldron. Say, hey, look at that! I did not have to go buy some. Perfect. I really enjoy this game so far. It's so cute, and it really does give Omori and Undertale vibes. It also gives a different game that I'm, I keep forgetting about, but like... It's gonna sound weird, but it tastes like that game, almost. Like, it has the same energy and vibe from it. Is this where we came from? I don't think it is. It is. Cool. I could have sworn we came out from somewhere else. Oh. Hello. I spy a treasure chest just for me. Nice. Can't have too many of those. Actually, speaking of... Item... 16! We're gonna need them, apparently. Okay. You know, it did say something when we went out there, so that makes me think that... Yeah, I had a feeling. Wow, even the keys are cardboard! Hey, if you think you can make a better dungeon with real locks and keys, then be my guest! Oof. 
Adventuring tip, fleeing from battle. Maybe feeling overwhelmed, you can flee. However, boss level foes will usually prevent you from fleeing. Always be prepared. <laughs> Excuse me. Need two keys. Okie dokie. Hi, Toby! Enjoy your lurk! Is this doing a thing? Oh no, okay. Legitimately... Kept going to the left. Ah, okay. This is where we were supposed to first encounter this, but I was silly and did not do that. What the hell? Just a little bit more. Nice. Good shit. Okay, great. That's both keys. We can move on to the end of the dungeon now. You know, I have to admit, I'm actually kind of having fun in here, Claire. Good. I worked real hard on all this. Really hard on all this the end of the dungeon, so are there two different paths, then? Also... This is the first room. I'm confused. We got two keys, but now? Oh, I guess it's open now. Okay, this is it. You two, final battle. What's in there will put your skills to the test more than anything we face so far. Oh dear. Hope you two are ready for a tussle. A tussle? Really? What? What's wrong with calling it a tussle? Well, the way you piped this up, it sounds more like a, a little more than a tussle. Maybe a brawl? What about a fracas? Can we just get this over with? Those monsters are itching for a tussle. Okay, now you're just being difficult. I'm always being difficult. I don't want to go in there yet. Something is telling me that I need to go outside here first. Also, this is different. Okay, good. Why aren't they attacking, though? Dodge. Nice. Ow. I had to open my mouth. Nice. Ow. Prick. Skills. Dive bomb. Skills. It's just scorch. Nice! Dive bomb is such an amazing move. Ooh! Freebie! Ten gold. Really, Claire? Only ten gold? Money doesn't grow on trees, you know. Actually, couldn't you use magic to plant a money tree or something? I almost tried that once, but it turns out it's considered counterfeiting and is very illegal. Oh no! It's just, if you're only gonna put 10 gold in there, why do you even bother putting a chest here? The chest itself is probably worth more. Actually, hey, can we just take the chest? Please don't. Look, okay, here's a spare potion I was keeping in case of emergencies. Happy now? You're keeping secret potions? You didn't really think I'd let my two best friends get horribly maimed in a dungeon, did you? Wow, thanks for the vote of confidence, guys. <laughs> I love how personable each character is. They're all so cute. Oh, okay. I guess I'll grab this first. Wow, how nice of you to provide refreshments in, a dun in your dungeon, Claire. That's enough to heal all of us in a pinch, so be sure to use it wisely. Also remember that we can't use a picnic set while I'm in the middle of a fight. I mean, it's your dungeon, Claire. Couldn't you just make the monsters wait for us to have our snacks? That depends. Can you eat a whole meal in six seconds? 
Is that a challenge? <laughs> Please don't ruin this lovely picnic set I bought by trying to scarf it down in combat turn. In one combat turn. I love them so much. <laughs> They're so fucking funny. Probably not get killed, but even if I do. Yeah. Nice. Now. Why you gotta be so rude? How is it that Claire has better offense than we do? Uh, Melody. Paladins are supposed to have a nice amount of strength, too. Maybe we'll have a better, easier time later. Get kicked, the nerd. Nice! Ooh, blink! Blink dog, blink dog, motherfucking blink dog. Except she's a cow, so blink cow, blink cow, motherfucking blink cow. Yeah, okay, now I want to go out here and search and whatnot. Is there anything this way? No, okay. Is just a wall. No? Okay. These crystals are so pretty. This whole area is super pretty. Oh. Save. Oh, I like how the... The models change tone. Cute. Oh. Claire, isn't running a generator in an enclosed space extremely dangerous? Don't worry, this generator runs on arcane energy. Not fossil fuels. No fumes. But I did keep it next to a body of water just in case it caught fire. Just to be safe. How did you not burn my house down in the process of building this madhouse? I guess I should thank you for getting a generator instead of blowing my fuse in my house, though. Oh, Allison, that gives me an idea. How was burning my house down going to help? No, no, I meant the blowing of the fuse part. In a real dungeon, being able to cut the enemy's power could potentially give us a huge tactical advantage. If we were to turn off the generator, it'll kill all the solstice lights I have around the dungeon, making it harder for the dust bunnies to see us. Won't well, that also make it harder for us to see them? It won't be that dark. The dust bunnies just seem to have exceptionally poor eyesight. Oh, what do you think, Mel? Worth a shot? I've already killed a lot of them. Fuck it. Here goes nothing. Oh, hi. Grotto Mermaid and Grotto Mermaid Tail. Ooh. Okay, okay, ow, oh, jeez. Okay. My defense is fucking high. Okay, we're honestly good for right now. I will do this. Actually, no. Fuck that. I'm going to kiss Allison. And she is going to dive bomb the tail. And then you will focus on her. Nice. Tail be gone. Alright. Alright! Oh, I have Blink now. Causes player to briefly disappear, making her completely invulnerable for one turn. That is great. 
Could have used something for, you know, damage, but that's fine too, I guess. She does seem to have pretty low defense. I'm not using Scorch because I think she'll resist it. She is literally in water. Do it anyways. Never mind. <laughs> when do I learn to shoot fireballs out of my hands? Yoink. Uh, looks like she's becoming a rogue. Interesting. Okay, what do you think you're doing in my secret hideout? You can talk? Your secret hideout? This is connected to my dungeon. Wait, dungeon? Are you, like, bad guys? I tried telling her the dungeon wasn't a good look. Can we not get into this right now? Um, excuse me, how is a mermaid surviving in this little pond? Are you okay? Do you need help getting back to the ocean or something? Oh, no, I'm fine. <laughs> this water is way deeper than it looks. There's a whole underwater cave network down there leading back out to the ocean. I just found this cool little cave with the solstice lights and thought it was a nice place to chill. Which was until you guys barged in and beat me up. Again, I was here first. Also, you attacked us. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I think this is all just a big misunderstanding. Yeah, sorry for beating you up. No, hard feelings. Name's Kaya, by the way. Well, we were kind of in the middle of something, Kaya. But when we're done, I guess you can keep the generator and do whatever you want in here. Didn't want to log it back to the surface anyway. Ah, uh, thanks! Here, it's not much, but here's a little something to repay the favor. Ooh, mermaid wand. Thank you so much! Uh, see you around, I suppose? Peace! Sweet. I'm assuming that goes to you. Yep. Well, I guess I could give it to literally anyone, but it feels more appropriate to give it to Claire. Which I'm very thankful that I waited <laughs> before going to the final boss and searching around first. Very handy, very cool. Who's this way again? Ah, oh, yeah, you already got that. Mm -hmm. All right. In we go. Wait, what? What's our health looking like? Alrighty. Popped up. Ready to go. Okay, here we go. My first real chance to show you two what I've got. Don't blink, you guys. Big dust bunny appears. Low visibility. Nice. Oops, we're gonna kiss. Sneakily attempt to steal an item or gold from the enemy. Also builds Alice and Star Power. Nice, okay. Um, let's not scorch the enemy. Mwah. 50 gold, hell yeah! Miss, nice. All right, everyone. Everyone attack! Oh! Why? Oh no! <laughs> That's not good! Uh, um... 
Everyone attack! Ow! infatuation I'm going to guard and then she's gonna blink peace <laughs> ah, I love that Set you on fire. Heal you. Attack. We just need to attack it at least once. Yeah. There we go! We did it! Woo! Hell yeah! That should make things a little easier. Let's see. Max HP! Way the fuck up! Holy cow! Good shit. Cool beans! Ooh, we learned frost! Let's go! Magic defense. Yeah, our defense is a little okay. Ooh, an iron gauntlet. Cardboard box? I guess you could wear this as armor? Doesn't do anything different. <laughs> um, <laughs> it gives her better defense. No, honey. Oh, God. Zircon Saber. Wow. Oh, a sword! Oh! <laughs> this thing looks sick! Go ahead and take it, Allison. Did you leave this here for just for me? That's actually really nice of you. Yeah, that's a very thoughtful gift, player. I pulled some strings to get some nice treasure for the little- for the dungeon. I mean, I could have kept it for myself. But fighting with swords is so uncouth compared to pirate pyrokinesis. I'm so happy that I'm not even going to complain about how stupid the comment was. Actually, the sword is supposed to be enchanted, but it looks like the gem in the hilt isn't, or isn't the original. So right now it's just a normal sword. Which is probably why I got it for so cheap. But hey, maybe we'll find a replacement gem when we go on some real adventures. Now we're talking. Do you really think we're ready for that? Sure, you two got through my dungeon just fine. A real one would be uh, only marginally more life-threatening. Marginally? Hey, don't worry, Mel. No clown's gonna hurt my girlfriend on my watch. Promise. There usually aren't clowns. We should probably head outside ASAP, though. I'm not entirely sure how structurally sound this dungeon is. You're only warning us about that now? This place is made of, ca uh, made of cardboard. I don't know what you'd expect. Whatever. Let's get out of here, Mel.
What? Okay, I didn't put a wall here. Well, it's kind of in the way. I just have to find another way out, I guess. Oh, I get it. This is another test for us, isn't it? Very clever, Claire. No, it's not. I'm a little freaked out, honestly. I have no idea where that wall came from. You've got a lot of tricks up your sleeve. Can't you just burn this wall with a fire spell or something? Nope. I fireproofed this dungeon pretty thoroughly so I could cast Scorch without burning the place down. Let's just try to find another exit, like Claire said. There's gotta be a crack in the wall or something. Okay, Mel? I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh. Oh, that wasn't there before. Oh. Several minutes ago in Green Ridge. Man, I'm bored. The girls must have been down in Allison's basement in an awfully long time. I wonder what they're up to. It's probably nothing, right? They would have invited me if they had plans. Maybe I should just go check on... Oh, it's text from Faith. Grab the armor and meet me at the tower ASAP. It's urgent. Don't tell anyone. Hmm. What is happening in my fantasy lesbian game? Danger. This doesn't exactly look like a way out. How did we even end up in this cave? I mean, there are a lot of caves under Green Ridge, right? Yeah, but we went, what, east, then south? Shouldn't we be back to the east at the end of the dungeon? Claire, shouldn't you know where we are? I never found this cave when building the dungeon, so no, I'm not quite sure where we are. Maybe we should turn around before we get lost in the cave. I didn't exactly see any other holes in the wall up there. It was This is kind of our only option. Besides, you two were looking for adventure, right? Let's look on the bright side. What's more adventurous than getting lost in a mysterious cave? Sure hope you've eaten recently, Claire. This danger sign isn't very reassuring. Oh man, are we? What? What's up? I might know where we are? I have no idea how we ended up here, though. Let's just say I hope I'm wrong. Okay, yeah, I actually know where we are. Let's turn back. Why? What is it? Come on, there's a chest right up ahead. We're obligated to open that as adventurers. It's, uh... It's a curse. Yeah. An old Galetta family heirloom that's extremely cursed. Mom sealed it away in that treasure chest. You realize that it just makes me want to open the chest even more now, right? Well, girlfriend says turn back. I'm turning back. We'll find another way out. Break down the door! Break it down! Uh... Oh. Is that a spot? No. Is this a spot? Nope. Sigh. Time to open Pandora's box, I guess. I wish they added a little something, though. <laughs> For you to just immediately turn back around. The chest is also booby-trapped. I hope you realize I'm not buying a single word of this. I don't want to open it. Allison says not to. I trust Allison. Oh, whoops. I must have spaced out. I was supposed to open that chest first. Let's head back and get that. Let's not, actually. I... Why are you not listening to your girlfriend, who you love very much? Why? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Ugh. Allison's photo album. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's... Yeah. Hey, this is your mom's photo album. What's this doing here? 
it's well... Okay, so when I was 18, I was trying to start fresh. I wanted to shake off some of that middle and high school dweebiness, you know? Kind of like me remaking on social media. So after my mom left, I kind of hid this photo album of hers filled with embarrassing photos of me in a cave so no one would ever see it. Wow, and I thought I was melodramatic. Yeah, I guess that might have been a bit much. You know what this means though, right? I've got to see what's in this photo album. What? No way. Oh, come on. How bad could it be? Melody, back me up here. Aren't you curious too? I mean, I've probably seen most of them before. If we dug through, uh, dug enough, we'd probably even find some photos of me. You know what? Fine. It's probably not that embarrassing. Just a quick peek though, okay? Oh, baby. Oh my god, is that your mom? Choose your next words carefully, Claire. Oh, I was just gonna say she looks like a total badass. I definitely buy all those stories you told me about her now. What, you didn't believe me before? How old is this one? You look really young here. I think this is before we moved here, so maybe four or five? Which explains why my hair is a total mess. It's hard to remember a time when you didn't spend an hour a day on your hair. What's next? <laughs> Who's this? Do you have a sibling I don't know about? That's me. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, I had a scene phase for a brief period in high school. I know, it's stupid. No way, it's cool, you were just expressing yourself. My parents would have killed me if I tried something that extreme. Anyway, next. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. Your mom dressed you up as a carrot? I was one year old! The hell was I supposed to do? Oh man, that's just great. The humble origins of the legendary hero, Alison Galera. Yeah, I definitely remember why I had this thing. Oh, relax. I'm only teasing. This is all adorable. You should be thankful that your mom preserved all these happy memories for you. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Well, that was fun, but now we're still stuck in a cave. A cave that, if I remember correctly, should be on the other side of town. Something that's definitely- something is definitely going on around here. Yeah! <laughs> There are like 30 photos of Allison's seed phase in here. <laughs> oh, right! Did I equip that for you? Yeah! What I remembered. Oh, yeah, I can run. Totally forgot about that. What the fuck is this? Allison, you said you've been in this cave before, right? Has this void always been down here? Yeah, no. Wow, this is incredible. Sort of looks like the fabric of reality is falling apart. No, it just looks like we're back in your dungeon and the weird magic effect you had going on with the floor is leaking out or something. Quit trying to freak us out with your bonding through danger sh shtick. No, I really mean it. This is not part of the dungeon I designed. Okay, Claire, listen. Is it possible that maybe, when summoning the dust bunnies, you got a little more than you bargained for? Not a chance. I was incredibly careful about this. It takes much more energy to summon more powerful creatures. I only use, used a small amount of mana to summon exactly as many dust bunnies as I needed. No, oh, I, I think we've stumbled upon... Something else. Hi, Khaleesi! Mwah! Happy holiday! Um, video game goes good! We're hitting a juicy part in the story, which is really early on. I, I really haven't played much of this so far. Um, we're playing as Melody, a trans girl fox, uh, with her girlfriend, Allison. She's a bunny. And then our friend, Claire. And we're basically RPG girls. We're really cool. Yeah. I 
I can't move. I, uh, oh, the floor is gone. <laughs> I was expecting something to pop up. A sofa? Well then. Looks like a pretty nice one, too. Hey, you know, I could really go for a nap. I'm pretty tired from all this dungeon business. I think I'm gonna pop a squat on this couch and pass out for a little bit. Really? Right here? In this part of the dungeon that shouldn't even exist? I'm a sleepy bunny, Claire. I wasn't expecting to go on some wild dungeon adventure today. I need a sec to recharge. I could probably use a little rest, too. Also, there's absolutely no way I'm going ahead without Allison. Of course. Well, I suppose some rest could do us some good. Let's take a power nap. Don't say nap, I'm sleepy now. I love that as a concept. Also, Ursa has discovered snow. I hope Ursa has the most delightful first winter. bargain for girls core barrier controls insert key error no keys in inventory oh okay oh lord this is not good i'm just gonna go down here mobile hole hound and rip in space time oh my god uh, Gus, target one enemy, deals additional damage to burn enemies. Okay, so we'll use that. Frost. Targets one enemy, can also freeze an enemy for a turn or two. Gotcha. Burn you. How does one fight a rip in space time? God, if I know. But we're gonna find out, I guess. Ow. Okay. Oh! <laughs> uh, you left your leg, sir! Sir! <laughs> sir! Um... Actually, we don't really need to heal right away. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and yoink that. Old gold, nice. Thinking about his pants. <laughs> oh, okay. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> Go after that one. Nice. Ow. Nice. Nice. Did we did we choose? <laughs> okay, we get it. <laughs> Um... First thought for fixing a rip in space time is to literally stitch it shut, but I've been doing a lot of mending lately. Break a lot of wooden wheels? I didn't know you had the mending skill. No! Item.
Got a key. Guys, we're in a real dungeon. Might as well fight everything we can. Okay. Kiss. Kiss. Cross. Ours is very rough on her toys, but loves softer, squishier toys, so I have to mend them a lot. Ah, I see, I see. Get fucking blocked, nerd! Wow, that was sick. Use Gust on the fucking bunny. I'm dumb. I thought for next time, that's a mimic. Grind core tea. I feel like that's Allison's taste. Yeah. Hello. I'm not sticking my hand in that. Not gonna fight a mimic? Oh. Ooh! Hell yeah! Hey, at the end of the day, after all this creepiness, at least we got 250 gold. On top of every other bit of gold that we're getting. Sure. Hmm. Be great if we knew what we were doing with with that, to be quite honest, before we were doing it, but too late now. <laughs> Alright. My girl! Please! Um... Actually, no. Her damage output is really necessary, so she's just gonna guard. Resist. It does additional damage to enemies that are on fire. Fuck you. Everyone just attack. Ow, nice. You dive bomb the shit out of it, and then you do that. <laughs> nice. Stop. I wonder if there's a way to clear this path. Um... Uh... Oh! Trans, lesbian, she, her. Scholarly cow with extensive knowledge of witchcraft. Also a notorious wealth card who relentlessly pursues her lofty dreams. Evocation witch, nice. Cis lesbian, she, her, an adventurous bunny with impressive agility and strength. She loves punk rock, her GF, and the sound of her own voice. Yeah, that sounds about right. Wait, she's a punk 
She literally does not... It's just, she's just a punk. She still hasn't chosen a class. God damn it. And then us. Timid Fox. Resolute Paladin. Well, we'll go the long way around, I guess. Hello? I don't remember this. I guess we have to go the long way. Hmm. I keep forgetting that I can run. Hello? Looks like I could push this block from the other side. Wait, but I couldn't. It didn't let me. I, uh, <laughs> okay. So let's go this way. That block is... Uh, yeah. Hello. Oh. Singular rip in time. I wonder if the wand wouldn't be better in Melody's hand. Here, let's go ahead and... Flip. Put that back. Whip. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nice. Much better. Okay. Key! Most of an egg appears. Dust Bunny Sage appears. Most of an egg? Huh? <laughs> um... Gotta break a few eggs to make an omelette. Where's the rest of the egg? <laughs> Fuck if I know! <laughs> nice! <laughs> I really am curious to know what it does now, though. Like, what was it supposed to do? Nice. Ow. That's rude. Why would you fucking do that? God. Nice. I... there was no answer to where the rest of that egg was. I don't know how to get rid of that. Yes. We have 895 gold. Let's go. Oh, hello. Push it from the other side. Hello. You're in my way. Hmm. I don't like how I said that. <laughs> Undertale vibes. Really strong. Ow! Nice. Good dodge. Um, oop, no, skills. I have bomb, skills, frost. Because I know fire is resisted. Nice! They really have it in for Claire. She has the lowest defense, I think, so makes sense. Ooh, herbal cure. 
an attack boost. Ooh, is she like a stat buff kind of girl? Neat. Oh, hey, this is the other side. What the fuck are you? Is this a computer? This thing is downright ancient. It's so old. I don't even think it has a mouse. It just has arrow keys. I wish I had a trackball. That'd be fun. Allison, were you the type of kid in school that would always steal trackballs from old mice in the computer lab? How short-sighted do you think I am, Claire? I couldn't have gone and played Flash games in the middle of class without a functioning mouse. True. Anyway, Melody, what does it say on the screen? It might be important. It almost looks like an email client. There's a message open on the screen. Things will get interesting down there once the process starts, so you may want to know the spell to clear away certain type of corruption. Oh, there are directions for a kind of healing spell. That might help us get out of here. Purify. For this, you're able to clear blocked paths in the dungeon and cure party members of corruption. Things have definitely gotten interesting here, so uh, thanks, B. Who could this message be actually for, though? What's this process? And why is there a functioning computer in the middle of, well, wherever we are? I'm personally too concerned about getting back to the surface to look a gift horse in the mouth here, Claire. Hmm. Yeah! There's a lot going on here. Alright, so... There is a path this way. A tier of revival. I have two of those. They're very expensive. I could only afford one at the time. But now I could like afford so many. Hmm. Any other area that says stop? Oh, I didn't go in here. Hello, friend. Sorry to have ignored you. Oh look, another egg! <laughs> I want to see what this one does. I'm not going to attack it. See, what do we get from the egg? <laughs> nice. I feel like the hound took a bite out of the egg and that's why there's most of the egg. But there were bunnies, just bunny sages last time too. There was no mobile whole hound last time. And then you, and then boil that fucking egg. Nice. Less of an egg? <laughs> we got part of an egg. Hang on, item, less of an egg. Not quite much of an egg as most of an egg. Restores 40 MP. Okay. Wait, what does it say for weird key? Weird key to unlock a weird door in a weird dungeon. You, I, I could do that. That works too, I guess. Um, right, there's a stop area in here. Here, 
Bye. Key. Oh. I'm so sick of this place. One key left. Let's save before we do that. Are we ready for this? Probably be a good idea to use the save station and rest up on the couch we saw earlier. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Oh. Um. Let's just go use the couch. Ah. We don't need to use... making sure um we don't need to use ethers and potions if we don't have to mm. this place discomforts me like no other all right so we don't have to go back and do that again Oops, I saved twice. It's fine. Yes. We're ready. Okay. Hmm. Thank you for the pet pet. Core guardian appears. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and do that, and then a chance to freeze. This isn't unsettling at all, right? Ow! Nice! Good weakness. Um... Skills, dust, skills, yoink, and then skills, cross. Nice, 100 gold. Why are you targeting me? Oops. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh no. This is not good. I'm gonna. Oop, nope. I wanted to dive bomb. And then. I'm gonna attack boost you. Nice. Nice! 402! I love this music. Ow! Oh god. Alright. Me first before I get to heal. Freeze! Let's go! Heal yourself. Attack. Frost. Nice! Good shit, girls! Four hundred gold. I wonder if it would have been five hundred had I not stolen the first one hundred. Good lord. I 
guess I was right about you two being ready for a bigger challenge. Just how much power did that Fortuna spell give you? As much as I'd love to gloat, at the moment I'm more concerned about the fact that this was a dead end. Should we turn back? Maybe everything shifted around back there to give us an exit. Hi. Another monster? We're resorting to name calling, are we? Actually, I can do better than that. Hang on. I... Let me take a sip of my beer. Honestly, the nerve. You barge onto someone else's property and pummel every li living thing in sight and you think I'm the monster. Uh, um, um, is that all you have to say for yourselves? Okay, two things, dude. One, if you keep trying to scare my girlfriend, we're gonna have a problem. And two, could you lose the mo goofy mask? I know my good looks may be hard to believe, but this is just my face. That's... okay. Hmm? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Oh, you think I look peculiar, do you? Well, the feeling is mutual, you weird little ear creature. Wait, do you not know what a rabbit is? Please, I never claimed to be a zoologist. We don't actually think you're funny, by the way. That would be very rude to the only person who might help us leave. Uh, look funny, not- <laughs> I read that wrong. <laughs> right, Allison? Yeah, I really love that one piercing eye that stares directly into my soul thing you've got going on. As love as I mu as much as I love these cute little attempts to win my favor, I believe we were discussing something else. Oh yes, you threw your trespassing. What are you doing in here? Other than causing property damage? We were trapped in here. We were just looking for a way out and defending ourselves against the monsters, we swear. Figures. Just three locals acting like they own the place before we're even ready for guests. So you're responsible for all this? You made this whole dungeon by yourself? I'm not quite sure I would call it a dungeon, but yes, this facility is under my jurisdiction. Things were shaping up quite nicely before you three started knocking out my underlings. Even the most of an eggs. Those poor helpless most of an eggs. You crushed their self-esteem. Okay, but what exactly were you doing building a weird labyrinth under here? Uh, here, down here, underneath our town. Oof, excuse me. That's the root beer talking. I could ask you the same thing about your little dungeon, now couldn't I? Ah, so you've heard of my work. Claire, now is not the time. Um, excuse me, I, I don't think we caught your name. My name is Javis. Not Jarvis. Javis. J-A-V-I-S. Everyone always gets it wrong. You may also refer to me as Sir if you wish to grovel. Okay, Mr. Javis. Sir. What exactly is going on down here? Thanks for the pat pat. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, just making some preparations before my superior's arrival. Tidying up would be the phrase, I believe. Your superior? Who's that? <laughs> Whoops, I've probably said more than I should. That's none of your concern. I'm letting the three of you off with just a warning. You're lucky I have better things to do right now than deal with you. Just for future reference, quit punching my subordinates and try to not wreck anything else of mine, okay? But I love wrecking! Well then, I have good news for you, you horrible little creature. It looks like the scrambler was damaged and your little skirmish is going critical. This whole facility will be gone in a matter of seconds. Such a shame. I'll be leaving now. Let's hope we never meet again. Yeah, there is another Khaleesi in Snake's uh, chat. I don't know why, but there's just another Khaleesi. Wait!
well, okay. Are we alive? That's a good question. Claire, is this hell? Or is it just like a personal hell? It's a cave. That doesn't actually answer the question. Is that whole dungeon really gone? Just like that? Looks like it. Oh, thank God. I was starting to think we'd never get out of there. See what I tell you, Mel? You got nothing to worry about with me watching your back. Thanks, Allison. I can't believe it's all gone. What a waste. Claire, that dungeon was bogus. I know, but it was like our real first adventure. It was such a good learning experience. I wish I had Hello a chance there. to take notes. Hello there. Hang on. <laughs> Ew. Excuse me. Next time you get stuck in a reality warping dungeon built by a talking videotape, I'm sure you'll remember to bring a notebook and pen. Now, I hope this is the last time I have to say this today, but let's find a way out of here. Oh, we're back here, it seems. Well, maybe the way back this way is back to normal. Yeah. Oh, hang on. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything over here. Ha! Can't say I'm too pleased about there being a spike pit blocking our way here. Hmm, spike pick duty is usually Jody's thing. Come on, you gotta have some trick up your sleeve for spikes. You know, like a million spells. Well, I don't exactly think setting these crystal spike on fire would improve our situation here. I'll just have to see if Jody can help us with these. Aww. Boo, gotta come back here with Jody later. I wonder how many people have played or will play this and not recognize the face of Javis as a VHS tape. God, don't talk about that. I'm getting gray hairs already. Oh my god, we did it! We made it out of there in one piece! Three pieces, because there are three of us, but you get my point. See? I told you we had it under control. Are your adventures with Jody usually like that whack, Claire? Or was that new? That was... Well, it was something else. I'm still processing it, I think. Well, I don't know about you two, but I'm exhausted. I'm heading back to my place for a nice long nap. Oh, before you go, maybe we should, you know, know what keep what happened down there to ourselves. For now, at least. If Faith finds out about the whole basement dungeon thing, we'll never hear the end of it. I'm sure- I'm not sure anyone would believe us if we told them what we just saw anyway. Eh, you're the boss. Not even a goodbye kiss? Mel, you coming with? Oh, yes, I could really use some rest myself. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Thank you. Oh. Later that night. Melanie must have gone for a walk when she got up. Shouldn't be too hard to track her down. <gasps> Am I playing Allison now? Yeah! It's night time. Probably shouldn't go barting into Jody and Claire's place in the middle of the night. I probably shouldn't be talking to myself right outside their door either. <laughs> Why are you so laggy all of a sudden? Quit it. Christmas is so close yet so far away. Hi, Sushi. There are lights on in the library. Wonder why it's some someone's in there this late at night. Should probably go find Melody. Okay. Oh, the drawing of the tent. Who painted this tent on the ground? <laughs> well, there she is. Couldn't sleep? 
Just a little restless, I guess. How'd you know I would be here? I didn't! <laughs> I was actually about to answer that myself. This was my fourth guess. Want some coffee? Ooh, what kind of coffee? The extremely sugary kind with very little actual caffeine. Just the way you like it. You shouldn't have. But I'll take it anyway. Well, today sure was interesting, huh? I certainly can't say that's how I expected to spend my Monday. What do you think the what do you think would be different? Less eggs, mainly. Fair enough. Zip. Wait, hang on, I can do that better. Hey, you did great though. All that healing and junk. I couldn't have done all that without you. I probably wouldn't would have gotten punched clean through a wall and left a bunny shaped hole in like a in a cartoon. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm feeling pretty good about all this. I mean, the circumstances might not have been ideal, but I don't know. Something about healing just feels right. Maybe it just feels good to be useful to someone. Mel, it's not good to judge yourself based on how useful you are. Okay, maybe that's not the right wording. It just feels nice to be helping people. You know, keeping my friends from getting hurt, making a difference in their lives. Maybe I finally figured out my thing. Your thing? Okay, like, Claire's got her magic, and Jody's a courageous knight with a coat of honor and all that. And you're a great fighter, and you're super cool. What stands out about me? Being pink? I don't have any flashy talents or interesting hobbies or a cool job. I'm just kind of around. But now, maybe... Maybe healing's my thing. What the hell, Rath? Who you calling stinky? What the fuck? <laughs> I am being harassed. <laughs> I am just trying to enjoy my lesbian adventure. Uh. I exist in hell. <laughs> Quit it! <laughs> Damn it! There's a special place in hell for you, Ross. Thank you, Felici. You can escape from hell. Only you, though. <laughs> Is it the manager's office? Yes, because I want to talk to him about your fucking your your behavior. Tattletale on you. Then he's gonna be like, presses a button. Time to send down this fucker to the light of the last lair. <laughs> Silly. Snitches get stitches. I don't think that's how hell works. <laughs> Call me crazy, but I don't think that's how that works. Go give birth with the cows? What? Oh, manger's office, I see. That's exactly how hell works, how would you know? You don't run it. Incorrect. Damn it. <laughs> Please. I mean, you seem like a natural to me. But you've already got a lot of things. You're also super nice and you're insightful and you're generous. You're a really giving person, you know that? Wow. wow. Excuse me. And of course, you're pretty cute too. That's a plus. And look at me! I'm glad you think I'm cool, but I'm a big dummy who likes swords and cute girls and cute girls with swords and run on sentences. I guess what I'm saying is, I hope this works out. But if it doesn't, you shouldn't worry about trying to force yourself into a neat little box like that. It's okay for you to just be you. I mean, I already like you for being you. Stop saying so many smart things, you big dummy. Mel, when you talk as much as I do, eventually you get lucky and say something smart. So what about you? Is this guild thing going as well as you'd hoped? Crab Ray broke my stream connection. <laughs> Crab Ray said no stream for you. Denied. Get crabbed, nerd. <laughs> I mean, pretty much. Aside from the weird limbo dimension or whatever we stumbled into, I can't complain much. You don't sound that enthused. 
No, I am. Just, I'm just groggy. We're doing great. I guess it doesn't really feel completely real yet. I don't have any reason to be concerned, though. It's fine. My brain is just being dumb and not letting me relax. I know the feeling. But you wanted to do this your whole life, right? Yep, pretty much. I mean, it's hard not to want to be an adventurer when most of your formative memories involve tagging along with your mom and her legendary adventures. I can't even imagine what that must have been like. Well, okay. My mom didn't take me on her grandest adventures before we settled in Green Ridge. Probably just mo the more toddler-friendly ones. All that legendary adventures with no sharp objects or potential choking hazards or swearing. Everything felt really grand to a little kid like me, though. Everything evolves into crabs eventually. Return to crab. My mom was the coolest person in the world to me. She isn't afraid of anything. It was like being the kid of a superhero. So I guess because of her, I always thought that being an adventurer was the coolest thing you could be. But I still feel pretty much the same. Maybe that's a bit much to live up to. I should just be happy I'm getting the chance to do this at all. Especially with you, Melody. Hey, have I ever told you why I chose the name Melody? I don't think you have. I don't think you have. Why do you ask? I said that so weirdly. I don't know. We're just reminiscing now, I guess. So, you know how I always have to overthink everything, right? So I really wanted to make it count. I couldn't just pick any name. Melody sounded like a sweet name to me, and, well, this probably sounds stupid, but... I just thought that in a song, the melody is sort of the centerpiece? Like the focal point of the song. It's got a certain confidence to it in the part of the song that people pay attention to in most songs, right? I don't know, that might be all wrong. Maybe I should have taken music theory in high school. No, that makes sense to me. And I did take music theory. I thought that if I just heard it enough, I'd start to think of myself like that. Like my name represented the kind of person I wanted to become. Not just the girl part, but like everything. Someone more confident in her voice, I guess. Zip. Sorry, I'm being such a downer, aren't I? Do you remember what I said when you came out to me in Faith? You said if I spelled my name with an I, then I could do it with a heart. And that'd be cute. Why'd it take so long to start dating? Because we're a couple of dummies. They're so cute! From monkey to crab, tis the circle of life. How does a monkey turn into a crab? Are you there, my queen? I've got a status report on the operation on... Uh, whatever it is they call this horrid planet. Last I heard, they were calling the planet Reverie. Reverie, that's the one. Anyway, I'd just like to report that everything is going to according to plan so far. There may have been some minor setbacks, admittedly. But not to worry. We did anticipate the possibility of interference from the locals after all, so we've moved on to plan B. Nice work, Javis. Have you made contact with the potential recruit you had on your eye in Green Ridge? Affirmative. It was quite simple to sway her to our side. While she's inexperienced, she makes up for it with raw skill and passion. I see great potential in her. And if nothing else, her familiarity with the area will be of great use. Well, hey, if you ever forget the name of the planet you're on again, now you can just ask her. Good one, Meg Wee. So, when should I be able to make my grand entrance? I can only keep myself preoccupied for so long while you run around playing Dungeon Master and having all the fun. Very soon, my queen. It's not Jarvis. He actually made a point to say that people mess his name up like that all the time. It's Javis. <laughs> Very soon, my queen. If we remain on schedule, we should be ready within 48 hours. Wonderful. I hope they're ready for me. I was kind of thinking waffles for breakfast, actually. I mean, maybe, but I've been trying to watch my carbs. You don't own a waffle iron we never use, though. 
That's literally the only thing it's made to do. Who could that be? It's Claire. Oh, it's Claire. Hey, are you two decent in there? Can I come in? Claire, I'd like to think I'm better than decent. That's not what I... Look, just meet me at the library whenever you can. Huh, wonder what she wants. Also, why'd she walk all the way over here instead of just texting us? Cool magnets. Get it? Cool? Because it says, yes, Mel, I got your bad joke. <laughs> I like that photo, too. But, uh, who are you talking to, Mel? Oh, sorry. I've been talking to myself a lot lately. It's okay, Mel. Everyone talks to themselves from time to time, you know. Who took this photo again? Beverly. Uh, this was only a few months ago, remember? Oh, yeah! She was also- she was so happy for us when we started dating and said she had to get a picture. She likes to think she's known we were soulmates since, like, 8th grade or something. I'm not sure that tracks. <laughs> I mean, you've known you were a lesbian since middle school, but I didn't even know I was a girl until like 16. Why would she have thought we'd ever end up dating back then? Well, she didn't say she exactly say she knew we'd end up dating. She just said there was new she knew there was something special about us. Beverly's kinda psychic like that. Don't you ever get tired of listening to the song on repeat? Nope. And why don't we take this log with us? This would make a good weapon. Nuh uh. That axe is only for chopping down trees and removing particularly tight bottle caps. What are you looking for in my wardrobe, Mel? I was just wondering how many tops you ripped the sleeves off of. It's a lot. It's all part of my ongoing campaign to raise public aware awareness of these guns. <laughs> Congrats on completing the first act of the seven-act play. God. As long as the voices don't start talking back, it's true. Oh yeah, this place is open now. We should really talk to Claire at the library first. God damn it. Where was the library again? Down this way? I think it was down this way. Yeah. Yeah, and did that. Keep pressing the wrong button. Hi, welcome to the- Oh, hey, Melody. Hi, Mona. Is Claire in right now? Unfortunately, yes. In spite of my efforts, Claire has been cooped up in the meeting room B almost nonstop since last night. If she gets another coffee stain in the table on there, I swear to God. Okay, thank you, Mona. It's a building that says Lur Bar Barbie Bari. I think you're thinking of Undertale, where it was literally Labrarbi. What did you want to talk to us about, Claire? Did you not notice the wakeboard? Oh yeah, the video tape guy. What about him? Oh come on. I know it's been on your minds too. It was kind of trying not to dwell on it, actually. It's kind of hard for me not to dwell on it. So I've been trying to do some research to figure out what exactly it was that we saw yesterday. The way reality got twisted and warped on there, I've never heard of anything like it. It shouldn't be possible with normal magic. It's okay, Sushi. Did you find anything? Admittedly, my resources are limited to my own book collection and what I could find in the public library. What about the internet? I think the library Wi-Fi is down today or something. Or maybe Mona kicked me off the network. But anyway, I couldn't find a single lead. There's no evidence that the magic we saw yesterday is possible at that scale. And honestly, that concerns me. Spooky. There's a more- This is more than just spooky, Ellison. Oh jeez, are you okay, Claire? I'm fine! I mean, I'd say I'm doing remarkably well for someone who hasn't slept in 27 hours. Claire, maybe you should get a little rest. Now isn't the time to rest, Melody. What if Javis comes back? 
What if the next time he has a reason to use that magic on Green Ridge? Claire, you were pretty hyped about finding that place yesterday. What's with the sudden change of heart? Look, I love a good dungeon, and I thought I could turn it into a teachable moment. But I don't want that magic anywhere near the actual town. Sorry to interrupt, but what if this Javis guy is still pissed about how he wrecked his labyrinth yesterday? Exactly! We have no idea where he is, what he wants, or what he's planning on doing next. But if there's one thing we know, it's that his magic could be used for some very, very bad things. Javis. Oi, Javis! <laughs> I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to Javis. So what are we gonna do about this? Tell Faith? No, I propose we do a little reconnaissance work. We find Javis again and figure out what he's up to. If he seems harmless, we leave him alone. But if he's up to something, well, I guess we'll figure out a game plan when we have more intel. We could try putting him under citizen's arrest and hand him over to Faith for questioning, I guess. Is that an actual thing we have the authority to do? Are you sure that isn't kidnapping? I don't know. Probably. Probably as in it's probably fun, or it's probably kidnapping. Claire, didn't you just say we have no idea where Javis is? How are we supposed to find him? We have some clues. Whatever he's doing, it seems like he wanted to avoid being found. But he did it specifically- He did specifically say he was interested in Sapphire Islands. If he's still somewhere on the islands, then there are only so many places he could be hiding out. All of those places are out in the wilderness and filled with monsters, I'm, guess I'm guessing. I'm assuming. I'm a guessing? <laughs> they might be. Yeah, I'm not so sure about this plan. Since you already know about Javis and his monsters, you know what to expect if we run into another labyrinth. Good night, Sushi! Bye bye! That make, that'll make this easier. And I mean, come on. I don't want to bother Faith just because we have the vague hunch that a stranger may or may not be a threat to the town. Seems like exactly the type of thing that warrants telling Faith, actually. Besides, I thought you loved adventures, Ellison. Trust me, I do. But this is way more serious than regular treasure hunting and sightseeing. Plus, what about Mel? Mel, you're a great healer. But I don't think you signed up for this guild thinking the fate of Green Ridge would be on our shoulders on day two. Yeah, this is not what we signed up for. We just had our first real fight yesterday. It sounds like a job for someone with more experience, like the Paladin Brigade. I promise it'll be fine, Melody. It's only a recon mission. You're not alone. You're going to be with friends. And Jody will be there this time too. She's like an actual trained knight. There's no way she'd let anything bad happen to any of us. Besides, you did great yesterday. You've already made so much progress. You can totally handle something like this. You're gonna go looking for Jabez even if we don't go with you, aren't you? I won't force you to endanger yourselves. But I mean, yeah, this could be serious. I have to do this. I don't like the idea of you going out there without a healer, so I guess I'll join you. Thank you, Melody. Mel, are you absolutely sure about this? Like, for real? It's not too late to say no. I don't think we really have a choice here. Well, if Mel's coming, then so am I. Alright, then let's go get Jody. She wasn't at her place when I checked a little while ago, which was weird. But she's probably just at the tower with Faith. Oh, and after that, we should probably stock up on adventuring gear before we head out. Sounds like a plan. Oh, this is so exciting. We're finally going on a real mission as a guild. Official guild charter for the novice. Novus? Approved by Guardian Faith A. Vincent on April 2nd, 1013. Hmm. Founders Claire Higsby, Jody Caldwell, members Allison Galetta, Melody Amaranth. Hi, welcome to you. 
Uh-oh. Claire, can I have a word about you? A word with you about the 57 books that have mysteriously vanished from the magic section? Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'd love to chat, but the fate of the universe is at stake or something. You know how it is. Let's get out of here, guys. Hold it! I have something else to talk to you about as well. Oh? Claire, I've given some thoughts to your proposal. Wow, Claire proposed? I always thought the tension between you two was kind of... Allison, don't make me climb over this desk and strangle you. Look, Claire asked for my help with a research project. In exchange, she said she'd clear out her crap out of the meeting room. Wait, are you actually agreeing to help, Mona? At this point, I'll do anything to get you out of my hair. So yes, Claire. What exactly is this project? Claire has been collecting data on the monsters you use guy you use guys has been fighting. <laughs> and she wants me to help her compile it into a bestiary. Admittedly, monsters are kind of a fascination of mine. So assembling a bestiary intrigues me. Anyway, I started putting that together based on the monsters you've faced so far. Here's your copy. From now on, you can receive bestiary entries after defeating monsters in battle. I have my own copy of the book that's magically linked to yours, so I'll be writing monster descriptions as you add new entries. Do we get anything for completing it? Some kind of reward? You get a complete bestiary. Wow, thank you, Mona. This will be really helpful. Please, it's for a good cause. Freeing the library from Claire's dark influence. Nice. Thank you. Ooh, they have a nice house. I'm clicking on literally everything. Don't think there's anything in the bathroom that would be particularly useful on our mission. You'd be surprised. Would I really? No. <laughs> you know, I've always wondered if there was a story behind that sword up there. Oh, that's Jody's. Not sure if there's any significance to it. Claire, how many of these are overdue library books? Oh, please. Who do you take me for? Those are all back at the guild HQ. I mean, we're with Claire. Wow. Claire, your room is very messy. What's in these boxes? Someone's being nosy today. It's just some stuff I hadn't gotten around to unpacking since I moved. You realize it's been a few years since you moved here from Brightport, right? I know, I know. I need to get around to buying more shelves so I have room for it. Ooh, this potion looks fancier than the other ones. That's a bottle of wine, Melody. I see. <laughs> Someone doesn't drink. Claire, I've been meaning to ask. Did you make your outfit look like the trans, the trans pride flag on purpose? Oh my god. I don't even think I noticed until just now. It was a happy accident, I guess. Actually, I only just noticed that myself. <laughs> Cute. Also, the fucking S. That's the wealth sigil I inscribed a few months back. Did it work? I got a minor raise at work, but I think that was probably just a coincidence. I don't know. There are so many clickbait articles spreading around bogus sigil-based life hacks these days. It could be hard to find legitimate ones. If you ever find a well sigil that works, please send me a link so I can plaster my walls with them. Claire, you, did you make these potions over here? I've been dabbling a bit in alchemy and potion brewing lately, yeah. Cool, what do these ones do? Well, if you drink that one, it'll make your ta mouth taste like hot dog water. And that one over there is kind of soapy? I may have actually just made soap. They're still, uh, in alpha. You want a microphone? I thought about doing a podcast for a while. I still might, I don't know. What would it be about? Magic? Maybe it could be weird magical mishaps throughout history. That mainly sounds like an excuse for you to share your hot takes on magic. My takes are truly the hottest and they deserve an audience, Allison. <laughs> oh, 
Big sleepy. Can we go shopping yet? Yes! Hell yeah. Hey, it's you. Shop is fascinating. Is this what's considered chic here in Green Ridge? Perhaps I should take notes. Oh, and here's a word of your advice in keeping in mind while shopping. Sure. While buying equipment, you'll see little numbers next to your names with a plus or minus, indicating how it compares to your current gear. For weapons, it'll show you how your attack is affected. For other gear, it shows defense. I just like to get the stuff that makes the numbers bigger. A tried and true tactic. But some equipment may offer additional bonuses that are more beneficial than the plus one defense in that little window. What can I get you? Oh my god. Little wand, fairly average, albeit cute, wand that enhances the user's magic strength instead of their physical. Sledgehammer. Can't equip a spellbook while wielding it. Alright. Training montage band. <laughs> Ooh, agility. Ooh, cute! Celestial circlet. Raise two moons, boosting your magic. We're getting that one, that's for sure. Oh god, not 11 of them. We'll just get two. EXP sponge. Reduces EXP gained by 90%. Useful for party members who are overleveled for a, or for a self-imposed challenge. Hmm. Interesting. I get that one. Did I already buy one of these? No. I'll buy one of those. doing in this house? Claire, you live right around the corner. Whose house is this? Huh. Now that you mention it, I don't think I've ever bothered to introduce myself to the neighbors in three years I've lived here. That sounds about right. Allison, you live even closer. What's your point? This isn't any old house. Not anymore. It's our shop. I'm a little worried about the legality of all this. No, it's fine. Honest. It's like a lemonade stand, except we sell potions. We brew them ourselves. Wow, that's uh, very impressive. There aren't any good places to buy adventure stuff in the neighborhood, so we got some of that too. We're filling a void in the market. These kids know a lot about business. Thank you. We've, I've been reading a lot of books about ergonomics lately. Why do you want to open up... Did she mean economics? <laughs> Why did you want to open up a shop anyway? We're saving up for college! Even in elementary school, we're already cogs in the capitalist machine. Joy's just mad because she wanted to, wanted to spend the money on trading cards instead of saving it. You can't stop me. She's right about the capitalism, though. Anyway, did you want to buy anything? We got all sorts of useful adventure stuff. Oh, right. What are you selling? I've got the potions and stuff over here. And I've got a bunch of armor and weapons! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up, you two. Who let you have weapons? You're like eight. Don't be a narc. You know what? These kids are alright. Just talk to us and you want to buy something, okay? Uh -oh. oh, God. Um. No. You get that. And yeah, you can have a chainmail bus, that's fine. Oops. Yep, that's good there. And then you... 
Nice. You wanted the grind core tea? That Allison liked. Wait. Did Alice take the last Gmail pass? No, I still have one more. Oh, she won't wear it, I guess. That's dumb. Alright. Hmm. I want to make Claire the speedy one. Much of a difference in stats, anyways. Sure. Do you like antidote? Grape flavored, like all good medicine. Hmm. We'll get five. We already have four of those. All right, we're good. How much does this go for? Three hundred? Fifteen. Twenty. Hundred. Thirty. Fifteen. Interesting. Oh. Skip, 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 skip. Yeah, she definitely meant economics, not ergonomics. Ergonomics is like... Ability to keep your body good. Can't go past those. I was gonna go clicking on stuff, but you can't go past the boxes anyways. Um, we just came from that way. Oh, hey, it's you. Good morning. Heading out on another adventure, huh? Yep. We're gonna just stop me by Faith's office first to see if Jody's with her. Oh, uh... Yeah, just a heads up. Faith's got a lot of on her plate today. Isn't that true every day? You'll see what I mean. Just try not to bug her too much. She doesn't need any more stress right now. That's not ominous at all. Right. Nice. We're super poor now. Adventure mommy? Huh? <laughs> Ooh, evocation. Evocation magic section. Also, hi, Toby. This must be Claire's favorite. Fireballs, magic missiles, that sort of thing. It's my favorite section, too. Sweetie, what have I told you about magic missiles? Don't. The illusion magic section. Huh, this spe spell book says it can make you hotter. That one's a bit a little misleading. It just makes it look like you're on fire. The abjuration magic section. I think this is mostly protective spells, like what Faith specializes in. But there's also some healing spells that are considered abjuration spells, I think? I don't know. This is all still pretty new to me. Conjuring magic section. This mostly involves summoning things, right? Yep. Some of the conjuring, conjuring spells can make things get real interesting real fast. One time I got a spell book that let me summon a ghost. That was the last time I let her grandpa go birthday present shopping without me. On for a little break and then I'll be off soon. I hope you have had an easy day. There we go. What can I do for you? Inner Beast. Sabertooth Chonk. Chonk? Chomp. <laughs> Berserker Barrage and Fire Breath. Oh, 
Oh man, I wish I had saved my money. I can only get one of these right now. Imbue the party's weapons with elemental magic to take advantage of enemy weaknesses. Also teaches counterattack stance. Use potions as more than just potions. Teach teaches potion explosion, potion plus, boulder brew, and alchemical awakening. Magical girl! An exceptionally cute set of spells focused on multi-target healing. Teaches lovely aura, magic aura, and resilient aura. We're getting that one. We'll come back for the other ones later. Hey, you came back after all. That's great, because I'm not sure how many other customers we're going to get, to be honest. You have such a great selection, though. I'm sure any adventurer could find something useful in here. That's sweet of you. But I know these spell books are pretty old-fashioned. They're big and heavy, and you can only equip one at a time. Most folk these days prefer to just look up spells on their phones. Well, hey, great news! Nobody's phone is working today. For the record, I'd buy some spell books even if I did have phone access. No reception, huh? That's suspicious. Say, this wouldn't have anything to do with my dear old dad, would it? Don't worry, we're pretty sure we know what happened, and it wasn't Mr. Bartholomew. Well, that's a relief. I love the old coot, but sometimes I worry about him getting bored and causing trouble. What can I do for you? Did you want me to explain spell books again? I'm good. Thank you. Uh, right. She said I had to equip it? Oops. There we go. Nice. We're poor again! Wait, let's go see Beverly. We should probably see Jody if you join us. Dang, okay. If you don't have an appointment, Miss Benson is a little tied up right now. And by little, I mean extremely. We just got a personal matter to discuss. It'll only take a second. Is Jody upstairs with her? Not to my knowledge. But if she's popped into Faye's office unannounced without checking at the front desk, it wouldn't be the first time. If you'd like to schedule a meeting, though, Faye has a few openings next week. Come on, dude. We have to go through this, like, every time we come in here? We're Faith's closest friends. Just let us talk to her for two seconds. Fine. Give me a sec. I don't think I'll ever be used to this guardian thing. I miss being able to see Faith more often. I'm amazed she ever gets to leave her on office, honestly. You guys just don't understand. This is what it's like being a highly skilled witch like me or Faith. Your arcane talents are always in high demand. Careful with the adjectives there, Claire. Still, it's a lot of responsibility for a 24-year-old. She must be the youngest guardian in Greenridge history. Second youngest, right? I heard stories about a time when everyone thought it'd be hilarious to write on a baby's name in the ballot and the baby won. That wasn't that long ago, actually. Wasn't the baby Pepper Leon? Yeah, it turned out there was no age requirement for items. Pepper was technically a guardian for like a day before they called for a do-over. See, you guys always blame me for everything, but this town has always been bonkers. Long before I moved here. Anyway, Faith's a great guardian, but I'm still convinced she won partially because everyone thought it'd be fitting for the boss of the paladins to be named Faith. Okay, Miss Vincent will see you now, but she says to make it quick. Just head up the elevator. Jody? Oh, thank goodness you're- Oh, she's not with you. Have you not seen her at the either, Faith? No. Don't worry, I'm certain she'll turn up, right? It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, something is definitely up. Faith, your girlfriend's a founding member of my guild, and we need her help right now. If something's up with her, then you've got to tell me. I'm sorry, but I have more important things to worry about than your magical hijinks, Claire. Not this time, you don't. Faith, come on. We're your friends. Be honest with us. What's going on? Look, I don't know where Jody is, okay? I have no idea where she is and no way of contacting her. Oh dear. So unless you've got some important news for me, I'm a bit preoccupied. Other than the dude with a VHS tape for a head who we saw building a dungeon or something and summoning monsters beneath Greenwich? We've got nothing. Allison, not now. Allison, I appreciate the attempt to lighten the mood, but again, now it really isn't the time for jokes. Wait. She is joking, right? 
I really wish she was, but that actually did happen. Okay, let's start over. You met a videotape that was summoning monsters. He told us his name was Javis. He has some sort of weird space distorting magic that seemed like bad news. He also said something about having to prepare the Sapphire Islands before his superior arrives. But we're not sure what he meant by that. Why didn't you tell me about this immediately? As Guardian, it's absolutely vital that I'm aware of all potential threats to the town. We didn't want to dump this responsibility all for all this on you. This is our problem and we're taking care of it. Claire, this is exactly the type of thing you should come to me for. I know that poking the various hornet's nests is some kind of adventurer's job, but you've bitten off more than you can chew, and you need to be honest with me about it. Okay, okay, I get it. So, what do you propose we do here? In light of what you just told me, I'm willing to let you three on some classified information. Provided you keep this between us, of course. Sure, Faith, you can trust us. <sighs> okay. While out on patrol yesterday, the paladins noticed some strange creatures on the outskirts of town, hiding in the shadows. Rhett said she had never seen anything like it. They weren't behaving like normal, wild monsters. No. They seem to be watching us. Do you think that might be related to what we've found? Maybe. We don't have much to go on, but it hardly seems like a coincidence. I was hoping that Jody and I could take care of it the monsters before anything happened, but when we looked, we found no trace of them. I told Chody to keep looking for nearby for any signs of monster activity, while the paladins and I stayed in town in case they returned. That was about 3 p.m. yesterday. I haven't heard from her since. Have you tried calling her? Have you actually checked your phone today? Something's interfering with our reception, which itself is just another reason to be paranoid about all these strange happenings. Okay, yeah. We were already headed out to monster territory to investigate Javis anyway. We'll just look for Jody out there. Well, if you three feel up to the challenge, I suppose we have a plan. Not much of one, but it's better than nothing, right? I'd help you look for Jody with you, but I'm afraid the paladins and I can't abandon our posts right now. Just promise me that you'll be careful and report back to me as soon as you're able, okay? I have a very bad feeling about all this. I don't know what I'd do if something bad happened to Jody, let alone all four of you. Don't worry, we'll be fine. We just gotta head north, grab Jody, figure out what Javis is up to, and come right back to regroup. Easy peasy. I'd start looking in Amber Woods if I were you. You know how to get there, right? Just head east from the Guardian's Tower, past the shops. Right, come on gang, I've got work to do. One time, I don't think I'm, it's appropriate to snoop. Okay, let's get this. Hold on. Before we go out to the town, can we stop by Pickle these real quick? I need to tell Beverly I can't make it into work today. No problem. We should get some food while we're there. Off to Higgledy Piggledy's as it is then. I was wanting to go there anyways. Man, those big lids look really, well, good. You can be careful around chocolate. Oh, we already saw that yesterday. Hi, girls. Oh, and Claire's with you this time. Hi, Claire. Hey, Beverly. I just wanted to stop by and tell you I won't be able to make it into work today. Oh, is everything okay? Everything's fine. We just got some urgent adventurer business to take care of today. Yeah, we're off to save Green Ridge and possibly also Jody's life. You know how it is. I don't know how it is, actually. But yeah, that's fine, Claire. It's pretty dead here today anyway. Sean and I can handle it. I'll definitely miss you having you around though. Uh, <laughs> oh, me too. Oh, hold that thought. Gotta get that out of the oven. So when are you gonna cut the crap and ask Beverly out, Claire? What? Oh, come on. The little hearts in her dialogue are dead giveaways. And I mean, you obviously like her, right? You always get so much more chipper around her. She's just very sweet. I'm making her southern. Oops. <laughs> uh, it's infectious. See? 
Look, it's complicated, okay? Yeah, I like Beverly, but it'd be weird. She's my coworker. I don't want to make it weird. So dating a coworker would make it make it weird, but wearing your witch gear while waiting on customers and skipping shifts to go fight monsters doesn't. Well, when you say it like that, you make it sound silly. Claire, do you remember what you told me a couple of months ago when I was crushing super hard on Allison? That you should just talk to her? Maybe you should follow your own advice here. You and I both know it's infinitely easier to give advice than it is to take it. Listen, I don't even know if Beverly likes me. She's all sweet and bubbly around everyone. That's just how she is 24-7. Besides, what we have going on right now is nice. We hang, in a we hang out a lot, and I don't have to experience the crushing pain of being rejected. Okay, but for real, Claire. You'll never know how she feels if you don't talk to Beverly about it. Oh my god, fine. Okay, sorry about that. Now, what were you saying? I, uh... Hope you have a nice day, Beverly. Boy, that sure was a build-up for a perfectly normal statement. Well, let me know if you need anything else. Food, an app in one of the guest rooms, you name it. Do you mind if I use my employee discount? Go right ahead. Oh, also, let me give you a piece of advice. Some food will heal you more if it's something you really, really like. That's why you don't have HP recovery values listed in the chart. It varies. So when dividing up your rations in the field or whatever, you should always give your uh, give everyone their favorites. I see, I see. Fresh carrot. That, Jesus, 500? A single fucking carrot? Hot fudge sundae. Ooh. Oh, hey, yeah, the picnic set. Well, um... How much do these go for again? <laughs> Fifteen. Hmm. I don't feel like that's worth it. We do find an excessive amount of uh, ethers, so I don't mind doing that. Plus seven. Cool. Okay, now we can actually buy something. Um, uh, I know Melody likes chocolate, so we'll get one for her. I, I really couldn't tell you what the other girls like, so I'm just gonna get one of each of these cheaper ones, and then we'll have a hundred for literally anything else. Skipping work again, huh, Claire? Hey, come on, you know I'll make up the shifts later. Yeah, if Beverly thinks we've got things under control, then it's fine. And if adventuring stuff's going well enough that you don't need the paycheck, then hey, good for you. Just don't think you can bail on us when the next holiday rush ro rolls around. Those summer solstice crowds are gonna be ravenous. Hey! Heard y'all are in the guild now. How come you aren't wearing matching tabards or anything like that? We have our own styles. I tried getting them to do it, but they're stubborn. Ah, I get you. Style's important as an adventurer. It's half the job, honestly. Dress for the adventure you want, not the one you're on, and all that. You know, you remind me of my friend- me and my friends when I was younger. We started a guild together, too. Oh yeah? How'd that go? Uh, uh, well, not good. Deciding to spend that much time together really put a strain on our relationships. I don't regret it, though. Your 20s are all about getting stupid mistakes out of the way so you can make less stupid ones in your 30s. I still wear the tavern, though. I don't really see my old teammates that often, but I wonder if they still have theirs. Uh, uh don't worry. I'm sure y'all's thing will go way better than that. Thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs>
Oh. There's some odd jobs in the notice board. Let's see. Need help hanging notices around Amber Woods. We'll pay 400 gold. We're headed there anyways. Nice. What's from Pepper? Looking for con help conquering the world. Mute at Lo Leon Magic. Guess there's no harm in seeing what she wants. Sure. It doesn't have money, but... <laughs> She's a kid, so... Hey, kid. Hi, Pepper. We saw your request on the notice board. <laughs> Excellent. You'll be perfect for the job. There's something I want in Amber Woods. Getting it is the first step on my path to total world domination. Uh-huh. I'd get it myself, but uh, uh, I'm not allowed in the park after the last what happened last time. How do you know we can find this thing in the park? I have my sources. I can't tell you what the thing is, but you'll know it when you see it. Oh, and it's in a locked chest. You'll need this key. Uh, well, okay, I guess. We'll keep an eye out for this item if ultimate power while we're in the Amber Woods. Thank you. You'll be rewarded handsomely, and I'll make sure to give you special privileges when I rule the world. Pepper's machinations. I love this kid. I love this game. Alright, so... Oop. Hey, Rhett. Oh, hey, Rhett. What you doing out here? Just making sure no monsters try to sneak into town through the Psychon Trail. Standard pallet and stuff. If you're looking for monsters, though, I'd head east and check the Amber Woods. Park's crawling with them today for some reason. Will do. Oh, also, you wouldn't know f who's responsible for the littering around here, would you? <laughs> nope, definitely not. You were working here yesterday, though, right? Yeah, weird. I don't know. Maybe you should ask Paula about it. Actually, now that you mention it, I haven't seen Paula, uh, Paula around all day. Weird. I'll ask her if I see her around, I guess. First of all, fucking damn. <laughs> Pinning that shit on her. Secondly, that's not good if Paula hasn't been around. Amber Woods National Park. If you see a monster or a litter bug, please call the local paladin brigade at 555-201-6727. I am deathly curious to see if that's an actual number I can call. Ah, oh, good, a non glitching title. Star. Actually, new save file, baby. Just yet. Oh! Oh my gosh! What happened here? Oh crap, is that the two bards we met yesterday? Player, do you have any way to get them out? I'd cast Scorch or something, but my fireballs are kind of explosive, so that might do more harm than good. And we don't exactly have all the time in the world to try and carefully chisel them out with Allison's sword. Ooh, idea! Somewhere around here in the park, there's an old shrine dedicated to Soleil. Soleil, as in the sun goddess. This game was meant for me. Yeah, maybe there'll be something that could help us at the shrine. What are we gonna do? Just go ask the sun goddess real nicely if she'll melt this, melt this block of ice for some randos who will never pray to her? I mean, do you have any better suggestions? Okay, let's go do some groveling at the sun shrine. How was that, Royce? <laughs> Danger! Monster den inside. Monsters will attack randomly. Proceed with caution. Was this monster den always here? I think I'd remember if there was a cave filled with monsters right next to the entrance of a park. Either way, it sounds like a good place to stop by if we ever need to do a little training. Is this not where we need to go? Ah. <gasps> Fro 
frog ball appears, bloom beast appears, that frog! I love how fucking round it is! Ooh. check. I'm okay, though. He's dodge. so much. The hell? Generates 60 MP for the whole party in exchange for star power. Okay, so that's the only thing for star power that I have. Scooter. Um. Skills. I'm gonna yoink the shit out of that loot. Actually, whoa! What did I do? I hit something. Why are you like this, though? Nice! Nice! Alright, we're gonna... Oh, I don't have it, so we're gonna heal. I'm just gonna keep you on, King! Um... I'm gonna scorch that bloom. Elixir. Oh. Who's healing them? Skills. Gust. allowing the fuck out of that. Nope. Uh, that 
doesn't have anything. You... song. Nice. Uh, we could use some ethers. Yeah, that'll do. What's an elixir? HP and MP. It's orange flavored. <laughs> I like to think that it's the color and not the fruit. <laughs> I know it means the fruit, though. It's like when you say something's blue flavored. Um. Eh, sure. Um. Oh wait, I could just do that. Right there we go. Changes the battle music to Allison's theme. Also builds her star power. Does not work in certain boss encounters. Hmm. Interesting. Give me another bunch of nerds to fight. Let's go. Frog ball! My favorite enemy. One friend, let's put it on Claire. is. We haven't really seen that. Hmm. Glad I didn't have the ability to use Gust anyways, because I didn't... I wasn't... I wouldn't have been able to use it. Everyone just beat the shit out of the ball. <laughs> Edge grows. the recovery. Okay. So I do have to still heal. Nice. Good shit. Awesome. I really like that's good enough. We're all level 7 now. And we have 729 gold. So we could go back and buy all the compendiums if we really wanted. I think I might do. Okay, so we gotta go to the left there in that end. Let's go back to the book place. Because I really want to go buy those damn books. Hey! I beat up a bunch of thingamabobs. Shit. What can I sell? There we go. Oops. No. Oh. Let me in. Thank you. Okay. Sweet. Thank you for your books. 
Clip. Alchemist, really? I would have thought Claire would have taken that one. Huh? No, 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 <laughs> no. I'm gonna swap that right the fuck now. Why do you want the alchemist? No, you're getting inner beast. And you're getting alchemist. Yeah, we'll go with Alchemist for now. We can use Spellblade later. I don't know why I was trying to give her Alchemist. She's never made potions before. Claire is the one who did. I just realized I've only eaten pizza today. Like two slices of pizza. That's all I've had for food. Hmm. It is 319. Zeros, are you listening in the background at all? Frogs! They're so fucking round. I love them. Alright, let's see. Enemy hurting for three turns after that. Slashes random enemies up to three times with sharp claws. Ooh. Wait, all foes? Let's fucking do it. Transform a spare potion into an alchemical bomb. Deals arcane damage to one target and leaves them burned. Combines the healing magic of first aid with a potion, using both in a single action. Transform a spare antidote into a petrifying bomb. Deals arcane damage to one target and turns them into stone? Combines your own healing power with that of the tier of revival to revive one KO'd fend and fully restore their HP. I need to give this one a melody. Interesting. Hurting Claire. <laughs> Just the fact that it gets bigger is really funny to me. giant block of ice. What's going on around here? Claire, since there's nobody inside this one, do you think you can melt it with a scorch? We need a lot of fire to melt the a uh, block this big. I'm not so sure I want to try on that wooden bridge. Fair enough. I guess we'll keep looking for a solution. At least it's logical to why we have to say no. Let me out. I'm being trapped by plants. Are they- is it chasing after me? It was chasing after me. Can we sit down? God damn it, I keep pressing F1. Hmm. 
Is this peppers? Oh. I already have one of these. Eh, might still come in handy. Or we could just sell it. Well, I wasted money for no fucking reason. Let's go. Let's go, gamers! Woo! Spitty money! <laughs> is that Pepper's box? Ooh, bewitched bandage. What is that? Excuse me. Charm. Boosts the effect of HP healing spells and items used on the wearer by 50%. It's armor? Let's go ahead and give that to you, yeah. Um, also... Do we need to give this one to... My girl, Melody. Being a magical girl is very cute, however... I feel like that suits you more. For you, let's give you the spell blade one. I was thinking you should have that one anyways. Mm. And then you. Yeah, we're good here. All right. These flowers seem interesting. Do they grow like this naturally? Secret pass? Secret, secret? Nope. Okay. Oh wait. Stump. Stump. No? Why does it have a circle like that? <laughs> Shit. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, hey! Um, petrification. Skills. Yoink. Skills. We're just gonna guard. Nice, good stone. Keep yoinking. Blade. Flame blade. Ice blade, lightning blade, and counter attack. Let's do lightning. I was right. Nice. Nice. Let's fucking go. Ooh, mana drain. What is that? Skills. Mana drain. Steal some MP from an enemy. Ooh. You know what? I'm not even gonna use an ether. I'm gonna just use that on the next fucking enemy I see. You, come here. Oh, it's some bats. Skills. Well, you could use some healing. We're gonna go ahead and fire breath. And then I'm gonna use... Flame Blade on Allison. Ow! Ow! Oh god. Um... Yeah. Oh, I wish it could be all of them. Hang on. Yeah, whatever. Oh, I should have healed Allison. This is fine. How's it going? Give me your 
fucking money. Actually, <laughs> we should probably just not do that. Ooh! Ow! Not frostbite, no! Ugh! Uh... Herbal cure... Time to dive bomb. You. Wait, does Herbal Cure not take care of that? Poisons and burns, I see. I think I would have to use... What is it? Um, antidote? Nope. What do you mean? I'm so confused. Uh, I don't know what I would use for that. I guess I just have to wait it out. Christmas, I will be a cook? You're gonna be a cook? Do you mean, like, professional? That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Oh my god, Claire! at a restaurant, so yes, nice! Congratulations! I am very proud of you. I'm sure you worked very hard to get there. Weesh. What is that chemical making me Oh, revives. I see. I wonder if it's like Pokemon, where they walk with you despite being dead. I kind of regret selling those ethers earlier. <laughs> oh well. What's done is done. Not really. It's an entry level position where they teach you. Hey, that's okay. Even so, you still got there. This is the shrine. Wow, kind of disappointing, not gonna lie. I was expecting a statue of Soleil or something. But I guess I can appreciate a good orb, though. I mean, hey, what if this orb is closer to Soleil's true form? Gods are weird. The way she appears on TV and stuff could be just for show. Maybe it's not the best idea to call gods weird when we're trying to get the help from one. Oh, sorry. So, how do I do this? Do I just start talking? Try touching the orb. Uh, um... Oh, great Soleil, goddess of the sun and the giver of life? Did people call her that? Throw in something about how cool you think it is that she made the sun. She'll be able to tell if you're trying too hard to suck up. Um, please hear our plea. Please lend us but a small fraction of your sun-related power so we may help her acquainted friend, her acquaintances, Beth and Marianne, and not freeze to death. You'll be forever in your debt. Uh, amen? Well, that didn't work. Maybe she did send something and we just didn't notice? Nah, so a show off. We know. She's probably just busy. Well, I guess it was worth a shot. Soleil has been added to the lore section of the quest log. Lore. The 
the goddess of the sun and one of the most prominent members of the pantheon of gods that rules over reverie. Soleil is generally credited with creating the sun. Since the sun is responsible for sustaining most of the life on the planet, this makes her pretty popular. Goddess Fortuna, the goddess of magic. 1,013 years ago, we sh she shared the god's ability to use magic in the mortals of Reverie, marking the beginning of the modern arcane era. Many spellcasters, including Claire, look up to Fortuna as a personal hero. Oops. The manifestation of a spellcaster's confidence used to perform powerful uh used to perform powerful special moves. The party builds star power by performing the basic duties of their jobs. Healing, basic attacks, basic attacks and offensive spells, taking damage. That's it, Bubba. I was gonna... Yeah, I already know about that. You gotta admit, it's a pretty nice orb. <laughs> wait, 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 go back! Oh, hello. <laughs> Who the fuck were you? Uh... Yeah. You. Why do you have a heart? Why do you have a heart? Why? Are you, why? Why you have heart? Why can't I interact? Sob. You have a heart. I notice you. Let me out. <laughs> Whom's the fuck are you? Hi. You enjoy your time at the shrine? Care to buy anything officially licensed Soleil merch to remember your trip? Dude, we're locals, not tourists. You can drop the salesman shtick. Oh yeah, I thought I recognized you. Oh wait, yeah! You guys are the Novas! I think that's the first time anyone's remembered the name of our guild. You know, it's the middle of summer. Aren't you hot in that big foam costume? Ironically, in spite of it being shaped of the sun, it's pretty cool in here. Anyway, if you're not interested in buying something, I should probably get back to being a walking billboard. This might seem like an odd question, but is any of this merchandise enchanted? I consider it to be all quite en enchanting myself. No, I mean, do any of them have any magical effects? We were hoping to get something, some help from Soleil in our adventure, but she didn't answer our prayer. Oh yeah, totally. These keychains can call down beads of sunlight and stuff. Here, don't tell my boss, but I'll give you guys one for free if it'll help on a quest. This melody may be able to melt blocks of ice and cure ice-related status ailments. Wow, thank you so much! I'm sure it'll help on our quest. Cool, well, have a good one. Back in... Sweet! No! I hit back the alchemist. <laughs> I like the magical girl one, don't get me wrong, but... Is it a skill? Is it not something? Oh, I just have it. Okay. Alright, sure. Here goes nothing. Hey, it worked! Nice work, Mel. What up, bitch? Let's see. Well, that explains why it couldn't uh, remove the frostbite from Claire earlier, because I needed the sun souvenir first. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and heal ourselves. Beast. Gust. Skills. Yoink. Attack. Ooh, 20 gold. Nice! Good freeze! Ow. Nope. Um, 
um, we'll just kiss Allison. And then... says cool beans like I do. Oof, my neck. Come here, you. Come here, you. Come here. Too bad. <laughs> Alrighty. We're gonna... I like the petrifying bomb. The breath. I love that it doesn't cost a single fucking thing. Nice dodge. Uh-oh. Okay, thank god. I hate that she needs to use a healing spell or something in order to gain fucking mana. I hate it. I went on the frog. I didn't mean to do that. Gus... She'll be fine, I think. She should be fine. She really is like targeted way too fucking much. Wonder if she has a fucking blink spell. Tree heart. Why do you not let me interact with you? Why? Oh, that one has an etching on it. No, I guess they're just natural. FJ. Thanks for the pat pat. Hi, Anwen. Love you, cutie. Here goes nothing. I think you would really enjoy this game, Anwen. This feels very much your vibe. Most righteous. We were starting to think no one would ever walk by and notice us in that block of ice. Actually, we saw our buddy Bill walk by earlier. But I think he was running late for his shift at the souvenir stand. It's cool. We understand the importance of punctuality. Are you two okay? What happened here? Did you get attacked by a snowbat or something? Oh yeah, we're fine. Thanks for the save, Melody. This is definitely no snowbat, though. So what you're saying is, is that I should buy it for you, right? <laughs> we saw this mysterious cloaked figure lurking in the woods, and as two bards fighting for truth and justice, we knew that was no good. They tried talking to the cloaked figure, and then got, we got frozen. Admittedly, mistakes may have been made. Yeah, I think I know who's responsible for this. I think we're definitely on the right track here. 
we better keep investigating. Right on. Well, thanks again for thawing us out. Oh, don't sweat it. We will sweat it, actually. We'll be sure to repay the favor someday. Adventure's code and all that. Anyways, see you around. No, you already got me, Fairy Dragon. It was lovely no more. But, 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 but it could be a Quimus present. Because it... I don't consider the fairy dragon to be a Christmas present. That was just because I wanted to do something for you. I buy you a game? I I do? I buy I buy you a game. I buy you a game. I buy it. <laughs> You're gonna shake me? Well you gotta come here. In order to get within shaking distance. And by that time, I will have already bought the game for you. And then I could just smooch you. Mm. <laughs> East or weast? Weast it is. Pretty. Pretty fucking. Oh my god, it's got a knife! What do you have? A knife! No! Oh. <laughs> Why is it all the way on the left, though? Stop going after Claire! Oh! That's why you're on the far left. Oh no. Okay. Um... Control, hey! Thanks for subscribing for 39 months total on a 28 month streak. What the hell? That's so cool, of you. Hi, bud. Long time no see. How are you doing? How's the business going? Is your uh bar was it? Is that going okay? It's been a while. <laughs> You dodge. Wait, where's my counterattack? Oh my god. That was brutal. You officially dissolved the LLC because it wasn't going anywhere. Back to 9 to 5 until further notice. I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. And not because I was promised a drink. <laughs> I promise. I'm genuinely thinking that sucks. Um, I hope you get some level under your feet again. It would have been really cool to come visit. God, please. Why do you keep dodging my attacks? I don't like this. You know what? Fuck this. Nice. You can't dodge everything forever, motherfucker. a fucking miss party over here. I'm going to petrify you in hopes that that stops other ones from appearing. Well, it did stop them from appearing because it was the last one. have a great job so it's okay it's just a job we're pivoting to a pop-up event company though so a bar may still be in the works fingers crossed i'm glad you have you're enjoying the job that you have though that's always good um... Oof, me. 
need more ethers, like, bad. I need to remember that I still have mana drain. It takes so long to get, though, because I have to heal first, and that's kind of stupid. <sighs> oh well. Yoink. Job sucks, but pay suddenly makes it super okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's always that pay, though. Why do you want to work here? Want me to say because of the culture and growth opportunity? Bitch, it's for the money! <laughs> right? Cool snake! Whoa, that snake is really cool. Yeah, I need to fucking heal first. Which is pointless, because healing always goes first. Sussy Snake is not my new favorite character for the next 24 hours. <laughs> nice. I really have to choose between Mana Drain and Gust and it's fucking stupid. Actually, what is... What does the cool snake have? Popped in for a bit at work, but I didn't want to sign in to switch on my computer, so I'm home now. Hi! Hi! Gold, not bad. Welcome home, hide! Everyone go ham on the snake. Okay, um, how about this? I'd like you to go away. I want to steal your shit, and then I want to also freeze you. Done my seasonal visit for five minutes back to work. Glad to see you're still streaming. Yeah! I take a little long-winded breaks here and there, but I, I am- This is my job, and it's what I enjoy doing. I'm trying to slowly cultivate it into something bigger, so hopefully I can manage to do that. But it's one day at a time, and I'm enjoying myself. I appreciate you coming by and stopping and checking in on me, though. It's really nice to see you again. Take long wooded breaks, too, as you've seen. <laughs> yeah. We all just need those. That's a okay. Have a good one. I want to bite you. Nice. 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 Well, hello. 
Wow, I'm surprised anyone's here today with all the monster activity. We're here because of that, actually. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Well, while you're here, free free, feel free to knock some sense into the, some of these monsters. It'd be a big help. That's not something I would normally expect the park ranger to say. These monsters aren't just normal animals, Melody. They're invasive magical entities and they're terrorizing the normal fauna of the park. Roughing them up a bit should scare them off, though. Trust me, Taylor. I don't need any excuses to kick some monster butt. In particular, I'd be look the lookout for this big mean bird who started squatting in the park a few months back. Folks call him the Trash King. Does the nickname come from him having trashy personality, or...? No, I mean he loves to steal garbage. But he'll also straight up attack tourists, adventurers, and the native wildlife if he's in the mood. So yes, I guess he's kind of a garbage dude. It'd be a big help if you could deal with him. If you head east from here into the mountains, you're bound to run into him. We'll be sure to keep an eye out for this trash king of yours, then. I'd appreciate it if you didn't go snooping around in my fire tower. There's lots of confidential forestry service stuff up there, like my bed and my field guides and, uh... Okay, maybe it's not all that top secret. I bet you must get a great view of the park from up there, huh? Yeah, it's one of the nicer perks of the job. That and knowing I'm keeping the forest from burning down. Speaking of which, y'all are behaving yourselves and not using any fire magic out here, right? Haha, <laughs> yeah, it would be reckless enough to do that. That sounded kind of sarcastic. Did it? Claire, you look me in the eye. Can you look me in the eye and tell me you won't start any fires? I'll certainly try. That's probably as good as I'm going to get out of you. Yep. I legitimately do not ever stop and think about using fire magic. I just do and I do not think about the consequences. And the game loves to remind me of that. And I appreciate it. It's a nice detail. I like this game. Be the same way if I had fire magic? Yeah, right. Right, not this guy again. out. I don't want to keep using these. I want to save them for like beefier guys. Allison, you're gonna get a smooch. Blade. Nice blade, Allison. Mwah. Merc these motherfuckers. Excuse me? Excuse me? You did not just fucking do that. I no longer care. My money! Oh, maybe this is Pepper's box. Wait, wait. Let's see. Oh, I should really heal. Then I can chomp, chomp, and then I can frost you. <laughs> Ooh, poison. Skills are pure. Skills. Yoink. And skills. Nice. So it's the synopsis of what's been going on so far. I was a little zoned out on parts yesterday and missed a few hours today. So, essentially, we are a guild called the Novas. We're 
Adventures in the Making. Um, a group of magical girls, essentially. Uh, we play Melody, who I'm hovered over right now. Um, with our girlfriend Allison and our friend Claire. Jody, our fourth companion, is gone missing after we um, found... Claire made a dungeon underneath Allison's home, and that dungeon accidentally led into a dungeon of something that we don't know who he is or what he's up to, but a creature named Javis, who has a VHS head, um, talking about his queen and that she needs to make her grand arrival onto the Sapphire Islands, and I'm pretty sure, because we got meta-knowledge as the audience, that he took Jody um, as someone that he wanted her skills for. And we're trying to find her and stop Javis. Really? Took, pull this look out for a knife. Hmm. On one hand, our adventures we are honor bound to complete our missions to the best of our abilities. On the other hand, is it really a good idea to give an eight year old a knife? No, but Pepper already spends all day obsessing over dark magics and hanging out with her ex supervillain grandpa. How does that make it any better? I'm saying she's already harmless with way scarier tools at her disposal. She probably just carved her initials into stuff. But if you think that's still too dangerous, we can always hand the knife over to her mom instead. Maybe Catherine will give us a reward. I would rather keep a child out of trouble or be a snitch. That's a tough call. Hmm. Honestly, I'd rather give it to the child, knowing her. She'll probably either A, give us something cool, or B, hurt us in the future. Oh, nice flower crown. Or B, hurt us in the future because we didn't give it to her. Nice. Just find a dude with DVD head to beat up Chavez. <laughs> I'm impressed that you spelt it correctly the first time. Nice job. Oh! You're pretty! You're literally a rose. Hi! Um, excuse me, do you have a second? I don't. Okay, sorry to bother you, we'll be just on our way. Whoa there, Mel. Let's give that another shot. Hi! I don't believe we've met. I'm Allison, and this is Melody and Claire. And you are? Busy. But my name's Noel. We are just wondering if you've seen our friend Jody pass through here recently. She's a tiger. You're gonna have to be more specific than that. Um, well, she's orange with purple stripes. And she looks muscular enough to punch a boulder into pieces. Jody looks like she could rip out a tree of the ground with bare hands, but also like she could give you a really nice hug. I'm getting mixed messages here. Is she nice or is she running around destroying the countryside? No, no, Jody's nice. She wouldn't really do that. It's just important you get a clear mental image of how shredded she is. Okay, if you're done with all the colorful descriptors, then yes, I'm pretty sure I did see her pass through here yesterday afternoon. Oh, that's great! Which way should we was she headed? If you head back down to the fire lookout where the park ranger hangs out, she was headed east from there, into the mountains, I believe. Also, if it's important, it looked like she was tailing someone. Maybe another beast? I didn't get a good look. So I think Jody was following someone. Interesting. Maybe Javis from one of his goons? 
That may complicate things a bit. Well, thank you so much for your help, Lowell. Sure. Nice. I love your design. You're so pretty. Powers. Being in my way. Hi, it's the other side of this. Huh. You know, there's a drawer just like this on the beach near my house. Are they connected somehow? VZ. Oh god. Alright. My star power. What the hell was that? gonna do that. I don't care if I don't have anything to heal. I just really want the star power. And then I'm also gonna preemptively go ahead and get this. Oh, doors that look like know each other melody. <laughs> that for right now. I desperately need the mana drain, which I'm going to take from the snow bat. Um, I'm going to bite the fuck out of you. And then I'm going to that to you. They're desperate to fucking bite her. Nice. Chomp chomp. Nice. Not actually, but it is a 69, so... Garden gave MP. That would make guarding more useful, honestly. Everyone just fucking smack it. Second aid! Nice. First aid, second aid. <laughs> nice, an elixir. Skills. Restores an even decent -er amount of HP to one friend. Also builds Melody Star Power. Oh yeah, we definitely need that right now. MP low or not. Nice. First aid. Keep it. I really don't want to, but you know. Where the hell are all the ethers? We had so many at the beginning, and now we're not getting jack shit. That it is separate. Save. Oh, hey, it's you! I'm afraid I can't let you through, ladies. 
Due to the increased monster activity, the bridge into the valley is hereby under the protection of the captain of the Green Bridge Paladin Brigade. That would be me. We know, province. Hey, I know my rights. We should still be allowed through even if it's dangerous. I'm aware. But I'm making a personal call and saying you three in particular should stay out of the valley. Green Ridge has enough problems right now without you starting a forest fire or getting eaten by monsters, Higsby. Why does everyone think I'll start a forest fire? I know how to control my scorches. Yeah, we're also kind of looking for Jody. I already questioned some locals under Miss Vincent's orders. Nobody saw her headed this way. I have no idea why she entrusted this important mission to you, Higsby. But I would suggest you not waste any more time here. Man. Everyone has an out for Claire. My god. Fucking rude. Like, sure, we don't really know the whole story about these characters yet, but also... Unnecessary and unprovoked. Uh. Oh, they do revive. Interesting. <laughs> Ooh. Are you dateable? <laughs> You're cute! Let's see... Mm -hmm. Just attack. See what it does. Interesting. Okay. I don't want to test anything else right now. Okay. She never misses like they for that, that's for sure. Yeah, it's true. Holy shit. Ow. Fucking rude. Always go the other route because there's gonna be some secrets. Hell yeah. How much money do we have? 2,822. God. I wish it was this easy to get money in real life. <laughs> 769. Nice. No, 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 no. We bite. You dodge my bite. Dead. It should not be alive right now. It literally had no health. What the hell? And the flames. An attack that does heavy damage to your burned enemies. Cool. 
fruit. Rare fruit that immediately fills the star power of one ally. That will be very useful for Melody. Explored that area. I am mostly dodging enemies at the moment because I have fought so many. I am good. East, east. What is this fucking boulder? Getting real close look at that boulder, huh, Mel? Looks like this path is blocked. And we don't really have any business in the valley at the moment, anyway. Damn it! See, that's what the fuck I need. It gets star power, whatever. should be dead! Does it not do it? it you, I guess you have to hit it last, which is really dumb. Mm. Trying to think. My brain is slowing down quite a lot. it doesn't have any mana because it has a knife or something. I'm sure if you could beat up a giant knife wielding squirrels in real life you could make a living off of it? Yeah, maybe. <gasps> Magic missile! Magic missile. Magic missile. Oh, she leveled up so I don't have to heal her. Hooray! Strong magical attack that hits all enemies uses both MP and star power. Oh Jesus. That's costly. For magic missile of all things. Five potions, fuck. healing. Fuck you. you use... Let's try you. Oh, 
There's still so much to, like, learn about the system of fighting. Failed. Okay. Alright, I would have to go after you. Got it. Weird. I only have, like, a quarter of a pip. star power to Melody. She's the one who fucking needs it. <laughs> Please. Just fucking beat her up. Wrong neighborhood. Mega potion. Nice. Ugh. We are not doing so hot. that mega potion lemon flavored 700 hp my god wait so you're telling me a sundae and a mega potion are exactly the same uh a door does it actually go anywhere if it leads to where I think it does, I should be able to open it, actually. It's kind of a restricted area, though, so, uh... Well, don't tell anyone I let you two in here. And by anyone, I mean Faith. Where are we? Welcome to the Astral Plane, you guys. You've been to the Astral Plane before, Claire? No, you're saying it wrong. It's the Astral Plane. Sorry. You've been to the Astral Plane? I'm not letting you two say Astral Plane again until you explain where we are in a way that a magical novice like myself will understand. I read about it while I was studying paladin spells, actually. It's a higher level of reality made entirely of magical energy. It's always there, intersecting with the material plane, but we normally can't see it. You have to say it gay or it doesn't count. It's true. We have to do that to Rudy, by the way. As soon as we go back into D&D, &D, we have to say it gaily. <laughs> uh, I'm enjoying this so much, though. There's so much D&D-based stuff in here. It's really enjoyable. Magic users have been coming here for ages, although most of it is still unexplored. That's a bit of a simplification, but yeah, basically. <laughs> okay, and what exactly are we going to find here? I have no idea. Let's look around. I wanted a place to rest, not a new area to explore. Warp currently unavailable. Find the astral plane door in corresponding area to activate. Hello? There's somebody here, but he's asleep? Oh yeah, that guy. He's always here. I've heard he's been here as long as anyone can remember, actually. No idea what his deal is, but people call him the Dream Knight. Is he okay? Should we help him or something? I don't know. He's still breathing, so he's probably okay. 
Let's just leave him be for now. The fucking models changing gets me. Hey, wait a second. There's something in the well. <gasps> a cleaner! Oh, the poor thing! We better find a place for this little guy to stay. No, we're keeping him! Where's my critter? There you are. Return it to its home for a reward. I want to keep him. Yes. Where in the hell are we? Oh! Hey, how'd you get, get up there? Miss Leon. Did you know that there's a door to the astral plane upstairs? Oh yeah, I forgot it was up there. Well, just be sure to wipe your feet off before you come in. Don't need your truck and start us into the shop. Mom, can I go in the astral plane, please? Maybe for your next birthday, kiddo. Well, Pepper, here's the thing you asked for. Wait, really? What exactly do you plan on doing with a knife? Uh, you know I hadn't thought that far ahead. I kind of didn't think you'd give it to me. Wow, the raw power. You know, it's just a regular knife, right? Come on, didn't you say this would help you take over the world? Let's hear your evil scheme. Well, my power is already quite fearsome, so having this will really push it over the edge in the fearsomeness department. Just be promise to be careful with this, okay? Owning this is a big responsibility. Yes, I promise! And here's your reward! Oh, she gave us a bracelet! Faded bracelet that allows the wearer to just barely survive finishing blows with one HP. See? See? We're gonna give that to Claire right away. so many fucking healing items. Hey. Shop, please. Oops. Let's get two. We already have one. Two. Three. Oh, we already have three. Oh, I forgot we had the picnic basket still. Yeah, let's get that one. And then... What are we selling? What are we buying? How much is this worth? Only 500! I'd expect more out of that. So I guess a fucking mega potion 75, so I guess that is a lot. Could the reward be better than a free critter? I don't think so. Exactly! You get me. I think I'll keep that. Oh wait. Can we rest at the end? Thanks. Nice. Sorry for sorry for taking so many naps, Jody. We'll get you soon. By so many fucking ethers. We're gonna get ten. And then we have We have ten potions in the inventory? Really? Oh, I'm getting so many of these too. We have plenty of those. We're fine. Nice. Okay. So real quick. 
is the sledgehammer better? By one. But I can't have the spell book in hand. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. <sighs> and you know what? Just because I can. Hey, bud. Oops. Uh, Claire. Okay, before we begin, could I see your fortune telling credentials? A degree, maybe? No. Behold, your mortal life lay before me. Past, present, and future arise. Now, for your past. We don't have to talk about my past. You sure? Positive. Boy, you're a difficult one. Well, hey, it's your money. For your present, then. The fool. I had that coming, didn't I? The cards don't lie. But I assure you I didn't choose this card to comment on your behavior. That would be highly unprofessional of me. Yeah, yeah. What's your interpretation of this card? The fool can be associated with tremendous potential. But this is because it represents a willingness to embrace naive Navity and making mistakes for better or for worse. I am. I'd aim for better if I were you. At last, your future, the chariot. This card represents taking control of the situation and creating the outcome you wish to see through sheer willpower. That sounds good? It often means success, but success can mean many things. It can also mean a significant change in how others see you, positively or negatively. Or maybe the chariot will just be a new car. I'd try not to be too foolish behind the wheel. Funny. Well, there you have it. If you have any other friends who would like an abbreviated reading like this, send them my way. The schedule's very, very busy, as I'm, you're no doubt aware, but I could always perhaps pencil in some quick sessions like this here and there. I'll come back with Jody later. Um. Jesus. But, god damn it, Bartholomew. In any case, um, I think I'm gonna call it here, cause I'm hungry and tired and my voice hurts. This is a lot of talking <laughs> and I'm not used to it and I can feel myself getting like quieter and quieter and quieter and quieter. You can hear how gravelly my fucking voice is. I gotta work up to talking so much. Blech. Her pass card was going to be the forest fire. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really fucking love this game. I'll be buying it for you. And when, and when I'm buying it for you, you can't stop me. You can't do it. I'm gonna buy it for you. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, I will definitely go get some good food and get some rest. Um, but I will also... Uh, remind you guys... Hey, that's my desktop. You guys can't see that. Oop. Um, I have some things planned for Christmas, so if you don't have any Christmas plans, come stop by. I will have a short stream on Christmas, um, and we can hang out, and I will show you guys some fun things. Um, but other than that, oh, I am big. Other than that, I hope you guys have a good day. Um, I love you guys very much, and I'll see you guys again soon. Mwah! Goodbye! Goodbye! Goodbye. Goodbye.